vacuums come around me. And I'm gonna be like, you want this meal? You want this steak? You want this little piggy piggy? Mm. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. No. No. Look, Chris liked it. I think Chris liked it. You want a little piggy piggy? Oink, oink. I, don't I think, think you've like I think you've thought about it though. I've been on him for so long with the sexy <laughs> photo shoot. Kim has lost 31 pounds with Weight Watchers. Ooh, 31? You gave me an extra pound. Thank you. Oh, I was 30 pounds. Say. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's gotten nice in her absence. <laughs> yeah. Kim yeah. has lost 30 pounds on WW, formerly known as Weight Watchers. Yes. And she's got this brand new body that she pretty much hides. You can't really tell. Sometimes you can see Kim wearing something that's form fitting on Epop Daily. Yeah, but you know But for the most part, she wears big stuff. So you really like for me. You know why? What? Because Sherry, the new body ain't really new. You know? You know how you buy a new used car (laughs) and some things just ain't right? It ain't like I thought it would be. You know, some shit starting to hang real crazy. Okay, but that's I just joined I just joined with a trainer today, 24 hour fitness. Oh. So if stuff is hanging, you can get it fixed. You can tighten it up. Damn right, I'm gonna go to that doctor and tell him to pull it on up with a rubber band. <laughs> if you go to the gym, like like I got loose um arm. Yeah. <laughs> Wave your hands in the air. My arm hurt. I've been taking well, my arm. Like you don't Look care. You've been taking Pilates. Amy! Oh, boy. You want some of this ayasala bowl? That's not, darling. <laughs> it's not Ayi. I like it's it. It's called Ayi. Sherry, will you lean in with your necklace and Kim show yours off? We got Mommy Boss in the house tonight. Oh, mine? Oh. oh. Mine is a mommy. What's your say, Kim? Ain't shit. <laughs> 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 oh, yours says Boss. Acai. Did you get that from Simone Smith, your necklace, Kim? Yes, Simone Smith. Simone Smith, uh, LL Cool J's wife, Simone Smith made these necklaces. Mine says mommy. It's a little crooked. Kim bought it for me for my birthday. Hers says boss. And she makes this amazing jewelry. And this jewelry is so nice. Um, I wear it all the time, like 24-7. I take my shower in it. Looks good. I wear it all the time. Yeah, and Kim says boss, and I have earrings by Simone Smith. So if you go to Simone Smith Jewelry, she sells them on her website or at um, Macy's. Mm-hmm. Where else does she sell it? On on a website, but Macy's is where they. Get yeah, and she's got, and now she's got some like Black Power jewelry. Yeah. So it's really cool the jewelry. I remember when. Um, oh, damn, that's loud. Okay, anything I don't know. Anything? Sorry. Anything I can wear? Um. We don't have any called the kept one. The what? The kept, the kept one. Hold on. The, the kept, kept one. Oh, I'm a, am I working to be a kept man? <laughs> this is what I'm going to say about Kim. Sharing. When we're what? doing a live, why did she answer the phone? When Stacey, we're doing a podcast, people, why did she answer the phone? Because I got people trying to help me, and you okay. interrupt stuff. Okay, you can put a thing on the phone where it hey, goes, Stacey. hey, I'm doing a live. Sherry, what? can can you help Kim with her uh, her headspace and pull the camera down a little? She is not even a person she thought it was. Oh, my Somebody Aunt had... Gloria. Oh, let oh me Jesus, speak to her aunt. <laughs> 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 she's 90. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is terrible. Sherry, if you want to scoot the camera to your left. Hi, Aunt Gloria. Oh, Kim, that's so nice. There you go. Please oh, tell your aunt she's not, being listened to by no, no, thousands. No, I'm not. Chris, hush. I'm sorry. Nope, not that Chris. This Chris who would be in my business and thinking he running stuff until Sherry shuts him down. How you been, Auntie? That, that was funny. <laughs> I know you now. You know you're gonna see me for the wedding, right? What wedding? Uh, 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 uh. Your nephew. Which one? You're coming. I think Joyce is going to bring you. Which one? Um, I, it's live. I don't know. Huh? Amy, come sit in with me. Because this is just a mess. This is the most, this is the most stuff live this I've ever hilarious. been on. All right. Let's, let's talk about this. This is Amy. This is Kim's best friend. 
As you may know, Kim has a lot of best friends. We all lot. have learned, have except for Caroline Ray, <laughs> we've all learned <laughs> that we must share Kim because we give Kim gets aspects, gives aspects of herself mm -hmm. to each best friend. To so we put to all of us, and and we all understand it. We're like sister friends, and so like sister wives. The only one who gets jealous is Caroline Ray. Yes, we all know we get a little piece. We all know that we get a little piece of Kim, because as you see, she is not a whole piece to give. <laughs> Kim just doesn't have all the pieces together. You know, this bitch did the podcast Thursday at eight for the whole podcast and looked down the whole time like this. She was on her phone the whole time. With an expert who the, was at the Obamas. Dr. Susan Zinn, she, re she received a... She was an Ob Kim, Obama uh, award winner. Yeah. Susan Zinn was giving out information. And anybody who watches the Two Funny Mamas podcast, I was not on there. We had a guest on. It was Caroline Ray. It was Kim's friend who was a comic. I don't know her. And it was this woman, Dr. Susan Shawnee Zinn. Shawnee D. Shawnee D. But Dr. Susan Zinn, who was like amazing. Like she talked about the energy that it's a study that energy radiates eight feet from your heart. It's a oh, study. Wow. So that when you walk into a room and you like can feel tired, yeah, you yeah. wouldn't like to hear about yeah, that. Like you that. know why you didn't hear about it? Because Kim had a damn apple in her mouth and she was doing this the whole time. She was biting the apple and it would fall out of her mouth and she fed it to that damn dog. And I'm watching this podcast. Yeah, she thinks the dog's a baby bird. She thinks the dog's a baby bird. <laughs> I'm watching this podcast. The lady's talking about the doctor's talking about energy radiating eight feet from your heart and how you can transform energy and, mm -hmm. and you know, dealing with men. This girl ate the whole time and look, huh? And look down the whole time. Jeffrey, come give me a hug. Can I just get a hug? Because I know you've gone for the whole. You don't have to be on. You're going to be on camera. You want to be on camera? You don't want to be on camera. OK, just come on. I know. Just give me a kiss. I love you. Bye bye, honey. That's my son. New York 18. What up, New York? He says he's moving to New York when he's 18. Get away from me. All right. I got to know. So you got, you all have a strip club excursion planned. Are, are the three of you going on this uh, finding? Don't think you're going to get out of it, Chris. I'm trying to change the subject. <laughs> I would like to go. I'm, I'm, I'm inviting myself. As you myself. produce. This is Chris Let's from talk. Miss Coast Media who produces the Two Funny Mamas podcast. Let's talk about this. Who to Kim Whitley. Why she sat there the whole time on her phone she and got all distracted because she's not a whole piece. She announced. See, she's talking to an auntie who don't even know what wedding she's going oh, to. Oh, boy, that's rough. She announced in that podcast that we were fighting via text message and that uh, I can show you the receipts of me saying, look up, look up. I told her several Everybody times. Everybody said, look up. Caroline Ray said, Kim, can you stop ordering? Because she was ordering food. For everybody in the house. <laughs> and Caroline Ray said, could you look up, Kim, so we can ask questions? Let me give you your chair back. No, I'm not your No, yeah. She, won't, she wants you to keep that chair, probably. Did you like the asa asa? It's, it's acai. Like, I've never had this before. So it's, it's really good. And it's great in antioxidants. That what? was my auntie. What is it? That was Aunt Gloria. 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 She's an opera singer. Oh. Was a, How come she didn't know who was getting married? Well, a lot of people don't know his secret. <laughs> okay, I, I was gonna just say it. Look, Chris, know what I said because I've been having my mouth full with him many times. Okay. There's a lot there. Okay, that's a, that's a lot just to take. You Yo, I'm there. I'm there. Every time I'm on a live or podcast, I'm eating. Yeah, when you do. Oh, sure, that's you, what you meant. Yes, the whole time. Did you see the videos I sent you? I took a video of you on doing the podcast. The one time when I let you host a podcast by yourself. You are to never have a guest on the podcast ever if I'm not on the show with you. Because you looked down, just like you're doing now. Just like what you're doing now. You look down. I had an emergency. You had to order food? It was the emergency? Yes. Let me tell you why. Why? Why? There was something important. What was <laughs> it? Oh, because the guest was hungry. The guest who we had on the podcast hadn't eaten all day. And she was about to pass out in her blood sugar. It was either that or run and cook something. What about the other two guests? I didn't know how to. You couldn't tell. Okay, here's the deal. You had a guest sitting next to you. You had a doctor and your Caroline Ray. What should I have said? Hey, Shawnee, can you go order some food? I'm going to give you the money. Here's oh. my phone. Order DoorDash. 
You can step oh, away for a minute. Oh. Because there's three people. I, I'm like you controlling that. I didn't think she knew how to do it. But that was stupid. She's a grown woman. Yeah, she travels all around the world. Anyway, guys, <laughs> this is the normal stuff that we go through. Is there anybody that has a question on our live? Because we have to cut this short. Because obviously we have nothing to say. No, no. I, you no, let's talk. Hey, you got you got a lot to say. We'll, we'll play this game. Listen. Wait, wait, you see, Chris cut me off when I'm talking to my ninety-nine year old aunt. I think he was trying to get some information from you. Yeah, no, it's, it's like it's almost like we're trying to maybe uh, give the audience something or <laughs> something, hey, something. Something like our vanity said, give me something I can cling to. Catch your drift. Did All right. you know that, Amy? Do you know Amy? Amy does like all the celebrities' hair, so she knows all of these people. I didn't do her hair, but I did sit next to her at a luncheon. You did? And was she still in love with Prince? No, she sat. She had her Bible next to her. Oh, she was luncheon. a Christian. Yes. Yeah, Vanity from Vanity Six. You know, no, you know, uh, what's the what's the sound? Like? I think I'm an S C girl. She became a born again Christian. Yes. Do you know a she strong? Was like amazing. she burned Vanity Six. Vanity burned no. all of her videotapes. All of her stuff, her pictures, because that was her yeah. former life. I wish she would get. I would have bought some stuff. Yeah, I'd have bought a bra. <laughs> I would have bought some of that lingerie. But do you know Prince used to do her some? Uh, Prince would tell Vanity. This is from Vanity herself. Prince would tell Vanity, "Meet me in Paris." Prince, Flap wow. Vanity to Paris, and he left three hours before. What? She was stuck in Paris. Well, you're gonna Why would he do that? Yeah, but it wasn't like she had a bunch of money to be stuck look, in Paris. Look, look. That's not like somebody you was dating. I wish I was dating somebody who left me in Paris. <laughs> who was I dating? She'd still be there. What are you about? I love how you throw me shade. You know who you was dating? They had that same tendency. Really, I'm not gonna do his voice. <laughs> Some shit like that. Uh, I don't think it would have. Come on. No, I don't think it would have. I don't think so. I did. Okay. Well, the recent situation made me feel. Why are you telling all my business? Okay. And then now all of a sudden, then he gonna call me. He gonna be like, and I'm not gonna do his voice. See, you've right. been on the internet talking about. <laughs> I almost did. It. Yeah. You've been on the internet talking about me wait, again. Wait a minute. Okay. Maybe not that, but. The truth is this, always get a return ticket. When a man buys you, always get a round trip. Yes, ladies, if a man buys you anything, get a round trip yeah, ticket. right. Because you don't want to get stranded. Mm -mm. It's like your mother always used to tell you. Even in the Uber ride. If, if, you, if a man, <laughs> you, you always have money in your bra. Yeah. Always, always have money in your bra. If you go anywhere with a man, because if he fools around and leaves you, which I've been left on the side of the road, if he stands you up, you always have your own money to get back home. Have you been kicked out the car before? Almost, yeah, I was almost. Oh, yeah. If you like violently kicked out, yeah, violently. Now I tried to jump out the car one time. When was oh wow, that yeah, 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 was young, crazy. Young, when we young, you do stupid stuff. You do the dumbest stuff when you young. Oh my god, she never did go into the when she was kidnapped on the on the podcast, did she, Chris? She didn't. She brought it up, and I believe she was supposed to talk more about yeah. it. This, when, one day Kim will tell when she was kidnapped. When you're young, you do the dumbest. My mother was like, "Why did you get in the car?" Because you don't think about it. Like mm -hmm. literally, and you can tell your crazy story. When I had to jump out the car, I was messing around with this dude who had gotten out of prison. Uh, and he was crazy. Uh, uh, they, called, they called him Crazy Red. That was First of all, when you stop, 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 stop. Crazy one more red. time. What was his name? Crazy Red. You when you know. dating a dude, well, he was fine though. When you dating a dude named Crazy Red, and the, the first part of his name is Crazy, mm -hmm. that's a red flag. But I didn't even see that. I was in love with Crazy Red, and so what happened was once I saw that he was kind of crazy, I was just like, this ain't working. But at the same time, I had was dating this other dude uh, who was like a Christian dude. So I I had broken up with a Christian dude. We hadn't talked, but I guess he was get back in love with me. So I was with Crazy Red upstairs. It was over off La Brea. And uh, Willie, that was his name, who was a Christian dude, he was a drummer for a church, Willie. He came up the stairs and he knocked on the door and I'm sitting there like, who is that? And so Crazy Red was like, yo, somebody at the door. So I went to the door, 
Willie grabbed me forcefully out the apartment, but I didn't scream because I knew that Crazy Red was gonna kill him. Like, you can't just grab his property, you can't do that. He grabbed me, he pulled me down the stairs and threw me, remember Supra's? Yes. He had a Supra. He threw me in his Supra and I was like, what are you doing? Cause I didn't want Crazy Red to know cause it was gonna be crazy. And he threw me in the super and he took off. And the whole time, Kim, he was going, I love you. I love you. How could you have did this to me? I loved you. I gave you everything. And I was like, stop. And we got on the 405. And I said, and he was like, I'll kill you before anybody else had me. And I said, I got to jump out the car. I got to jump out the car. Now, if, you, if they ever say, I'll kill you. <laughs> Yeah, you had to jump on the car. But I was, we was on the 405. I'll take a chance on the 405. But that's what I'm saying. To the back of my head. But let, no, but let me tell you something. I opened up the door and he slammed it closed because I was going to jump out the car. That was God. Because first of all, you can't just jump. You know, in the movies, you've been thinking everybody jump out the car in the movies. But they got a stunt double. But I didn't know about stunt doubles. Yeah. I thought they just jumped out the car. So he slammed the door. But you know where he took me? He took me up Pacific Coast Highway. You know, like going up He's towards Malibu. Yeah. What a beautiful drive. Oh my gosh, he kept saying, he's going to kill me. Beautiful so he was final drive. PCH. And it is, PCH is a beautiful drive. And he was taking me up. And you know what happened? He had to stop for gas. He ran out of gas before he could kill me. So he pulled up to the gas station. <laughs> this is awful. He's going to kill me. And I said, oh my God, I'm going to die tonight. So he pulled up and he had to get gas. And I, was, I said, if I jump out right now and start screaming, and he said, if you jump out that car, we'll pour this gasoline all over you and set you on fire. So you I know what well, been doing now? They, did that to they the do car. that, yeah. So I didn't get out the car, and I said, because I just got this outfit out of layaway, and I don't want no gasoline on it. So I was sitting in the car. And I was like, dumb. I was 21. Well, yeah. So I'm sitting in the car going, oh, my gosh, she's going to kill me, and I don't want to mess up my outfit. So mm. got gas. We put the gas back in the, in, in the thing. We got back in the car, drove up PCH. And do you know, so we were going towards, they got the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, right? That's Pacific Ocean, right? Mm -hmm. He turned off some like pathway and he was going winding and he was going over all of this brush and he and there were guardrails because you know you could go off the guardrail into the ocean and I can, and I was screaming Willie Willie stop oh he was trying to kill you yeah I thought he was gonna go through the guardrail and we was gonna go over the over the cliffs because he kept screaming I love you I love you it's and anytime. let me tell you something when you're 21 you got the good good that makes men go crazy at, at this age ain't nobody telling me they gonna kill me. Um, the good good they got a little good old, but back when you're 21, that good good ain't, ain't no joke, boy. That good good drive yeah, a man. Yeah, up. I got strangled. I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about, you give a little taste of that good good, because you know what it tastes. Is it to be like strawberries and freaking doggone mango? <laughs> this so what happened? Oh, so, Obviously, you're alive. You know what? So he drove up this path. It was like it was not even because he was hitting brush and, and and bushes and stuff. And we stopped. And it's like one of those ones you could overlook the bluff. Like if you walk out, you can see over the bluff. And he proposed. No, he got out the car. And I locked the door. I reached over and I locked the door because I said, he crazy. He's going to kill me. And he was like, Sherry, open up, please. I love you so much. And I said, no, you crazy. You got to take me home. Because I was crying. And then he started banging on the window. Open up the door. Open hmm. up the door. He was banging on it, and I said no. And I'm screaming, and he's screaming, and he was like, "I just love you so much. Why you do this to me?" And mm. then I said, "Are you gonna kill me?" And he said, "No." And I let him in. I let him in the car, and he took me to his mother's house. What after after all that? What happened with the red dude? Oh, crazy red! He was in the, he just was in the thing getting high. He just kept getting high all night. He didn't, probably didn't even realize I was gone. But he took me to his mama's house. And he took, and my eyes were so because I was crying. And he told his mom, "Look, mama, I love her so much. I love her, mama." And his mother goes, "Willie, what is you doing over here?" I was like, "What? What is you doing there to that baby? Put that baby in bed." So he, he wiped my eyes gently with the washcloth, and I went to sleep. And the next day, he brought me home. He dropped me off for crazy rest. What? Mm -hmm. Was that in Chicago? Mm -hmm. I said, it "Was on LeBron." Oh, right, right, right. Wow, mm -hmm. I never heard that story. I thought I heard all your crazy stories. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. I'm glad that you made it. Mm -hmm. So my boyfriend killed his girlfriend after you. What? Uh, uh, boy, bring it down. I didn't well, die. Boy, he stabbed her 17 times. I'm sorry. I'm really happy that I didn't go out with him that night. What? Uh, 
Did she live? Yeah. Well, we were young. What? No. No. No, you don't. You stab not, we've all been yeah. young. You're not allowed to stab people because you're young. Oh, never. Is he in prison now? I don't know where Navarone is. You better, Navarone. you better locate him after talking about that. Yeah, he was my friend. <laughs> but hopefully he's doing well. What if he turned over a new leaf and he a pastor and you just said his name? Well, what if he passed a Navarone and you just called him out? But if you stab somebody 17 times, uh, I don't think you're supposed to get out. But we don't know if he went to prison. Oh, he went to prison. Uh -huh. <laughs> he oh, he did go to prison. Oh, it was all over the paper. Oh, he went. Oh, my hat. All right. Show my hat. Come show I my thought hat. my stories was crazy. Yeah. They can't top Kim. That hurt yeah. my feelings. I found this. Look, look, look. Show um, everybody my hat. Why, why is this? What, what's happening here? That's my Mother's Day hat. Ain't that cute? Look at the it's bird. A lot look at the hat. real bird. Look at the look at the real bird on the branch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. You actually wore that thing on Mother's Day. I was looking for paper. I was like, what is this? Oh my gosh. I won. I won, I won a Mother's go. Day. Uh oh yeah, that might be it. This is the <laughs> most weirdest live ever. Oh, you know what? I don't even do, know. We do some we pretty weird lives. Oh, there you go. Maybe Nothing to promote. It, this this is a live that makes no sense. You got all that kinds has of purpose. no purpose whatsoever. Everybody this tuning is, in on Facebook and YouTube have <laughs> what? I like to do the church announcements. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we praying for? <laughs> well, obviously Navarone. Navarone. Uh, all y'all who have not contributed to the building fund. Yes. <laughs> we have a leaky roof. Mm -hmm. Now you would search your hearts. No, did you see the Clark sisters? Mm -hmm. and they had, they was on oh, Instagram. The Clark sisters. They, they told no you. Joke. They told you. You made my, my day. <laughs> you made I my way. Sister, my sister you Kim. Me yes, every yes, every brother every Chris. Sister and Kim, you know, when, sister Kim Friday. wins the, sister Kim wins the cakewalk. Well, we start. We we got rid of the cakewalk because. One of the parishioners turned out to be a stripper, mm. and uh, when she was walking to the cake, mm. uh, right, one of her uh, uh, high heels uh, <laughs> gave out because it didn't mm. have a platform on it. With all of the tithes, please stand for yes. a special prayer. All the tithe. Oh, there's no one tied. No one. Well, then all of the others. <laughs> the others. <laughs> all of the others, please stand. Well, well someone would. On the box, other. <laughs> you were tied. You were tied. I'm a tither. I'm a I'll, giver. You a giver. <laughs> what, we, have, we have a child that is unruly. What, a parent of number 86659. Please go and get that child from Sunday school. He is acting up. Oh, Parents of 86659. Oh, it's like Joshua Whitley. <laughs> uh, Joshua Whitley. Just well, his that. mother, please go get oh, Joshua Whitley. Oh, no, I'm not getting him. Why do you think I come to church? Leave him right here with y'all to take care of him. <laughs> We have hey, a Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Come join us. Praise the Lord. Man about to get no. married. Oh, come no. on. Wait, look, no, come on. Because I, 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 how, when is the expiration date for flirting with somebody who's about to get married? When Up you can't flirt with them more? on an iPod blowing me up. That's her. You're not supposed to say it. I'm not supposed to say it. It hasn't blowing been announced yet. Up. That okay. is Kyle Samuels Johnson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Na neighbor, neighbor across the street. Love when he stops by. Well, Kyle, can you just sit with us? Because I just want to talk. I want to ask some more man questions. Samuel Johnson right here. Oh. Five minutes of just man questions. Listen to Sherry talking to this guy. Is he single? Can I get five minutes? What's, what's happening here? It's like church. Because you got that big ass okay. hat on your head, Kim. Well, obviously, I got two hats on a wig, too. I'm about to pass <laughs> off. <laughs> That's the Will truth. the owner of a black Mercedes, <laughs> with the owner of a black Mercedes license plate, I say you. Yes. Yes. I say you. A yeah, black yeah. Mercedes. Your yeah. lights are on. Hey, wait a minute. No, no. They're black and sisters. <laughs> And she got to go get her oxygen, <laughs> so we need you <laughs> to move as quickly as possible because last week she was 
this block because she didn't get oxygen and we got charged. <laughs> the ambulance had to come. Sis, Sister Kim, Sister Sherry, we're at four and a half hours in on uh, the service today. Uh, when do you think we're going to wrap it up? Oh, gosh. We are doing prayer vigil tonight and a shut-in. <laughs> We're going to have a three-day shut-in because we're going to whip the devil. We're going to whip the devil. Turn to your neighbor to on the left. Turn to your neighbor on the left and say, we about to play the devil well, out hold today. up, hold up, sister. Don't you turn to your neighbor. It's still a variant out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that Steve's cousin variant? Oh, God. Variant. Variant is a cousin to Corona. She's the firstborn, Rhonda. <laughs> and Barriott is coming around, honey. And Barriott is a hot ass. Oop, did I say and that? I want to make the announcement. A lot of y'all have been laying hands on the different variants. Yes. <laughs> Please leave that to our pastor yes. to lay hands. Yes. <laughs> Only one authorized layer of the hands, and that is our pastor. Absolutely. We know there's been scandals before. <laughs> yes. Could you please stop using peas? You spread me variants. <laughs> Tell her to you to tell her to to plie to do the dishes. Uh, Kim's niece is here, Hannah. She's a dancer. Oh, we've, we've met her. We've met her. That's what she needs to do. She's twenty one and just the most lovely. And I, she is. Oh, look at her. She outside. I just asked her to help me all day. It's gonna be nighttime again, Hannah. Look at her. Just out there being a teenager. You know what? You are such an auntie. What you out there doing, Hannah Banana? Nothing. I just like got my phone charger. Who is that? It's two people. Huh? It's two people. Sherry's in here. We want to know why you have. I've been announcing for you to go to the store for me for an hour. You said, really? I'm going to help you, auntie. I, you helped me with my audition. I'm going to help you all day. Well, it is 7 o'clock at night, and you ain't done nothing. <laughs> I've got, but I've got, well, I'm doing a live now. I'm busy. She done hung up on me. I swear these little apples. She done hung up the phone. <laughs> oh, Jesus That's Christ. your niece. That's your niece. Oh, my God. That is awesome. We've got comments from YouTube. Uh, oh, you want to pepper towel to wrap up? What something? comments, Chris? Oh, my God. Our this school. is Hannah. This is Kim Whitley's niece. Hey, Hannah. How are you? Oh, no. Didn't you Hannah say you banana. Help me today? Yes, I promise. It's seven o'clock. That's I still got a lot of hours before I go to sleep. But I don't. <laughs> Hannah, <laughs> Hannah, <laughs> Hannah, this Hannah, this is a situational management thing. You need to keep her happy while she's live. These people are tuned in. You got to get at least put the fake effort in. Like make it look like you're grunting and moving stuff around. Come on. No, I'm literally listening no, to my I've been out in the hot garage auditioning with her all day when I said I didn't have time for this because I got to pack up my house and my family coming here and I don't need them to see the truth. But no, <laughs> now, oh, did I say that? Can I but ask I need you? some boxes. And I said, run to the store. But now it's 7 o'clock, Office Depot's closed. We ain't got no boxes. We ain't got nothing to rock stuff closed? in there. I'm sure. If you go behind Ralph, you get the boxes. I thought my task was for today was to get the speaker working and to get the playlist. Have you done any of that? I was hitting it. That's why I was in the garage. No, no, it wasn't. Here, That's just to... that dog. The dog is pooping on the court. Get him. Wait, got... Listen. <laughs> but listen, no. What, what problems to, do... to have? The dog was pooping here we on go. the court. Here we go. Here, here, Hannah. Here's a little oh. taste of uh, of showbiz. Pam says these kids, lazy Hannah, dance your butt to that store. No! <laughs> Uh, let's door. see. I need some boxes and some wrap. I've been calling you for two hours. I didn't know you was gone. I wasn't gone. 
Where are you doing? Fatty, girl, fatty girl, fatty girl on YouTube, fatty girl on YouTube. Yes. Oh, well, fatty girl. Can you go in the garage and see? Poor Amy, I need some bubble wrap. Look, I just bought some bubble wrap. Okay, Amy is such an auntie. Look, look, mm. look at look at the box. Y'all don't even understand. Twenty years ago, this was the femme fatale right here. Mm. Every and they still are. Kim be pulling them. I, I gotta say, you and Kim be pulling. Ooh, let me show you the one I pulled recently. But Kim, twenty years ago, he, he walked with a cane and he look older. <laughs> you got a man that walks with a cane, girl. That's all right. <laughs> I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm feeling okay. okay. We need to be okay to walk with a cane and go on a date. Okay, okay. okay. I, I feel better every time. <laughs> this is, I feel way better about myself. That's great. Let me tell you something about Kim. Her and Buddy Lewis. We haven't had Buddy on as a guest yet. Um, Buddy Lewis and Kim Whitley used to run a comedy club in North Hollywood called the Ha Ha Comedy Club. It became huge. They became so huge they were able to buy another facility because this particular night that Kim Whitley and Buddy Lewis, this was in a heyday of Chris Tucker. What's it Jamie called now? Fox, maybe Smooth. It's still called the Ha Ha. Is it? Cat okay. Williams had started there when nobody even know Cat, and um, they had this club called the Ha Ha. And on Wednesday nights, it was packed around the corner for people to get into the club. It was known as a comedy club in the valley where you could see the premier black talent. Mm -hmm. People that you've never seen before. Chris used to come all the oh, time. Uh -huh. So Kim, when I'm sitting there, and I don't, I don't want people to take me wrong. Kim is beautiful. But 20, 30 years ago, this bitch was fly, fire. Kim used to wear this jersey dress that was so fitted and so tight. Men could not wait. They'd be like, buddy, get off the stage. When Kim coming up? I didn't know. I thought they was there for my funny. No, they was not. They came. He, he mess. Kim and Kim would get up on stage. She had these big dimples. I still got them. They're just long. <laughs> <laughs> Kim would get on stage and she'd be smiling and she got these big old dimples. But she would have these tight jersey fitted dresses on. She had a booty. She had these thick thunder thighs. Why you gotta say hair like I died and my booty died? My booty did die. It did. But it only died because I lost weight. Because you lost weight, but it was something about. But wait a minute. Guess what? Let me tell you. I'm gonna go back to that. But you know who said, "Don't be putting all that ass on me." You know who said that? Who did? Yesterday, day before, Eddie Griffin. Or uh, Paul Mooney's uh, uh, memorial. Yeah, he did like this. He said, "Don't be putting all that." And I was like, "I've never heard that before." I was like, could you record that? <laughs> was it really all that ass or are you high? He said all that ass. Eddie Griffin. Okay. Eddie Griffin looked at Did, you like, I never no, no. saw this before. Sure. Like, he looked at you like, huh? Yes. He, he looked up at Kim and said that. <laughs> Look at see, I'm not going to be a part of this. I was, because because Chris was talking about me and Mark Curry was taller than everybody all the comments. You are you and Mark Curry, Paul. You sent me a picture of Mark Curry. Um, she sent me a picture of the of the group together, and I was like, "Look at you, Mark Curry, and all those funny midgets. Look at all those people." That is so funny. Those two are taller. But oh. here's the deal: it's so funny when you go. To, it's tragic when you have to go to a memorial and see comics that you haven't seen in a very long time. Uh, that happened when Ricky Harris died. Remember. Who just texted you? It was a man. It was a man. Yeah, it was. I, mean, I love you too. Floyd Mayweather? Don't worry about what Floyd is. Floyd Mayweather just texted you? Why are you such a hater? No, it's a Floyd that is way dear to my heart. Floyd Mayweather? No. He, that was Floyd Mayweather, wasn't it? No. That texted you. Yes, it was. You are so Where's jealous. my phone so I can have somebody text me famous? Okay, no, no, go ahead. Let me tell, look, look at me, I'm like, can you text me? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, play do a one up. See who gets who who gets the most famous person to respond. Okay. Let's see who just hit me up. I can just go through my history. This sucks because this is a two of and I am complaining. Joe my... Tory said something. Okay, Joe Tory's okay. Joe Tory, okay. hey, St. Louis in the house. Joe's hilarious. Right, right, Joe Tory. Oh, he's doing a, a movie. That's right. Joe Tory's doing a movie. Yeah. And he wants me to do something on it. So I got Joe Tory. Who you got? I don't have Joe Tory's phone number anymore. Is it J O or oh, no, J O E? Look. Bernard Jackson from Surface. Shower me with the love. Been waiting. Okay, I don't know oh. the song. You don't know. Come on, you don't know. Shower me with your love. Not the way you just sang it. 
Do you know Chris? Was that before your time? Yes, I know Shower Me with your love. Okay. I don't have my you I don't have nobody. my no because my iPhone 12 didn't pick up. I tell you this all the time. It doesn't it didn't pick up all my contacts. Oh. The so fact I that can't, you gotta keep digging. It's not it's only because my iPhone 12 oh, didn't pick up tell my contacts. Him, oh, your boy, the gospel dude. That's your friend. Who? Stan, we fall down. We <laughs> get up. <laughs> Y'all know who she's talking about. I've got. Oh you no! Should... Okay, that's... I'm telling you who they hey. who she's talking about. Chris, is anybody making a comment? Because I don't know who she's talking about. There's all are kinds of comments. We are neglecting our comment commenters. Right, tonight. but do you want me to get? I can get on it and read the comments like I did before, Chris. Because you, you, you do that. You do. You do. You do that, and it is gonna. No, do not do that. Because please. you didn't do it. You've done nothing. You've done no comments, has he? It wasn't a good. Well, oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, sin is just a sin. Here, I got a. I got a comment. For, no, I can't read that you're one. Not just sing that. We fall. Monica. Monica says, don't do Uncle Donnie like that. <laughs> Thank you. But why is it taking her 30 minutes? I just sang the song. Mm. Let me tell you about my Donnie. Simo. No, Simo. No, 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 you didn't even know his yeah, song. Y'all want to hear a story about no, 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 no. I know all know the Donnie's songs. You did not do, know do it. You want, not the way he sang it. I was perfect harmony. No, um, no. Harmony. Here, Donnie you heard me, you. Oh. You want me to interrupt you? Simo, who has Idris in their phone? Oh, oh, I did till he got married. I used yeah. to. Yeah, we don't even do eat just like that. Yeah, it's out of respect yeah, to his yeah. wife. Shout yeah, I used to have it. I don't have it anymore. Yeah. Shout out to yeah, Emma, Emma, Emma and Kenny Kenny and Kenny and sisters. Like, yeah, we don't we don't even talk about Idris anymore. <laughs> right. Carpe yeah. Diem thought I was throwing some shade earlier talking about uh, the height of uh, people. I'll give you that. Uh, D nice. Mix. You guys have 700 people tuned over 700 people tuned in over on YouTube. Be sure to hit like, share this with a friend, and get people to subscribe. We love that whenever the channel subscribe grows. Subscribe to Funny Comments. Uh, Can I tell you funny Donnie McClurkin story really quickly? Yeah. Really quickly. I'm, you know I'm in love with Donnie McClurkin. You know I have a big crush on that. Yes, you do. It's ridiculous. It, no, no, you know. And it's embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. I've always Are we going had a to the strip club tonight. I'm talking about Donnie McClurkin. Sorry. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> yes. So anyway, uh, with Donnie, I've been in love with Donnie for a decade. But Donnie's a, a he's a pastor of a church. I could never be a first lady, nor do I want to. So Donnie, I, I got first lady tendencies. We'll go ahead with just I have no first lady tendencies. So I've gone to Don, Donnie. Why, why my niece got my wig on? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What does that girl do? <laughs> just she just don't Donnie. want. Hannah don't want to help you. She don't even walk <laughs> Hannah is just walking, and, and, and then Hannah will be walking, and she'll look like this. Right, and she and like, it, well, you know she got my jacket on. I don't oh want to say nothing to make her feel something. Every time I turn around, she, she got my clothes on. <laughs> go ahead with that. And she ain't even my size. She the size of my leg. But go ahead. That's hysterical. So Donnie McClurkin, I'm in love with him. I'm in love with Donnie McClurkin. But he ain't in love with you. But he's not in love with me. No, because you can't be a first lady. No, because, you know, but what, what Donnie likes about me, we talk a lot. Mm -hmm. Donnie likes, I make him laugh. Like, you know, sometimes people who are very conservative, or they, they just like somebody to make them laugh. And I, I, I make Donnie laugh all the time. So I told Donnie McClurkin, I texted him and I said, Donnie, I'm going to be on Kelly Clarkson. Mm -hmm. And Donnie oh, said, <laughs> Donnie goes, I'm going to let the church know. I'm going to let everybody know you're going to be on Don uh, Kelly Clarkson. Praise God. And I said, oh, no, 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 Donnie. I said, I'm stripping. I'm on a stripper pole. He went, my God. Oh, that's Donnie. Oh my my God, God, my God. God. I've already sent out the email. And he said, he said, are you stripping? And I said, yeah, Donnie, I'm I'm pole stripping. Dancing. I'm pole dancing with Kelly Clarkson. He but said, don't oh, tell the church. I said, don't tell the church. Don't tell the saints. And he said, I was just about to send it and tell the church to support you, my friend. And I said, no, Donnie, they're not going to like you after that. That's so good. He, did. he didn't. All right, I'm starting to yawn. Okay. Anybody, what else they say in crypto? You know, they're saying all kinds of great stuff. So you've got a lot of people very I'll happy. Read. I'll read it. You're happy. They're happy that you're you're doing this live. They're happy to have the two of you back. So many people saying that. Uh, Onyx says, Sherry, you're not Donnie's type. <laughs> Brenda, loving you guys. I got my Too Funny Mamas t-shirt. Shout out to Brenda. Glad you got the shirt. Why I'm not Donnie hey, McClurkin's hey, type. Hey, where y'all going? Hello. Where y'all going? 
Who's got Donnie McClurkin came on the view and you know what he tells everybody that he meets, he tells my dad every time he sees my dad. <laughs> my dad goes, you know, you almost was my son-in-law. And Donnie says, I know. He says that? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. I told Donnie he was Fred Hammond a- said the same thing to me. Fred Hammond don't like you like that. Fred Hammond, me and Fred Hammond. Bread of life. That's right. Sent down from glory. Manger born, but on Jesus be a fence. All around me, every day. What if, what if you dated Fred Hammond and I dated Donnie McClurkin? They lose their churches. <laughs> and they wreck your And they wreck your sales. <laughs> but maybe not. Fred seems like he can, yeah. Fred, Fred, Fred. I love Don't Fred. Don't put it on on the big That's man. That's my boy. That's my boy. Fred, Fred Hammond. Hammond. Fred Hammond. Let me tell you something about that Fred Hammond. He be posting some of them little risk gay videos on Instagram. Wait, wait. What you say? Fred Hammond. He posts what? That didn't sound right. Risk gay. Oh, risk gay. Girl, I thought you said some of them gay. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I didn't say that. He posts. Risky. Risk gay. Oh, risk gay means sex. very sexy. No, it sensual. doesn't say it's that you're pronouncing it wrong. Alexa. Alexa. What does risk gay mean? That's not how you pronounce it. it is. The noun risk is usually defined as exposure to the chance of injury or loss, a hazard or dangerous. Alexa, thing. shut no, up. because you're not saying it right. Alexa, you're not saying it right. Alexa. How do you say risque? I pronounce that risky, but I'm always working on how I say Oh, things damn it! it. Alexa, <laughs> Alexa, shut up! Alexa, shut up, because you don't even know what you're talking about. I'm so sick of her. I'm so sick of you. But anyway, I was, he posted risque pictures, uh, to some videos. But I think that would be so funny. If well, we should we ask out, him the double date? Yes. Fred Hammond. And Donnie McClurkin. Would you two like to go on a double date with Kim two Whitley? Two funny mamas. With the two funny mamas, because we have children. Would you like Why to go? Why you gotta always bring in the kids? Our show's called Two Funny Mamas. What the hell you think it means? It could be like, hey, mama. Okay, Fred and Donnie are not saying that. All right. So let's, we'll take that back. But Donnie McClurkin and Fred Hammond, would you like to go? Are we supposed to be asking them now? They like it. It's they too like late. It. They like aggressive girls like us. So anyway, Fred Hammond and Donnie McClurkin. Uh-huh. Would you like to? That's not appropriate. No, at all. <laughs> I funny. definitely got on the church mom's wig. <laughs> would you like to go on a double date? Yes. With Kim Whitley and I? Yes. Fred Hammond. Donnie McClurkin. So anybody who knows Donnie and Fred, get on their DMs and let them know. Sherry Shepard and Kim Why Whitley. Why would you yell? This is why you ain't got no man. Why? Why would you yell out like we at a ball <laughs> at game? At a WWE event. Fred Hammond. <laughs> From Parts Up. Donnie McClurkin. Okay, it's time to go. You are <laughs> From Parts Unknown. Because We're not trying to get. All we trying to get. For the night is Donnie McClurkin no, and Fred Hammond. Hmm? You're supposed to be adorable. Oh, I I, I am adorable. And ladylike. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was cute. Good you to have Sherry leg. back. Yes. I can put my leg in the chair. You didn't used to do that. You was a big old thing. and couldn't get your leg Yeah, I saw there. the little video where you said you wanted me fat again. <laughs> I didn't, you saw <laughs> that? I, I, saw that. Saw video. I didn't say fat. Hugging dust, hugging dust. Hugging, hugging. You and Alicia Cooper. Okay, let me see if I can get my leg. Hey, tell you what, Alicia Cooper, people were loving her. That was so oh, funny. She, oh, let me tell you something about Alicia Cooper. She's, she's amazing. brilliant. She's I so want funny. everybody to see my knee, too. Well, don't put it up. I can't get it up in the picture. There you go. Oh, this but is I'm fantastic. Like, oh, stay oh, push it up there. <laughs> That's an oh, be careful, please. <laughs> I know, please careful. don't make me Chris laugh. Don't I don't want nobody to see my nails. I done broke all of them. What yeah, is my... that knot on my leg? That's from years of volleyball. Don't be <laughs> tripping. That is an athletic Look, look you see the knot on mine? Wait a minute. You Yours is from second. Uh-huh. No, I got two. What was you going to say? Nothing. Uh, You're not with the Christians listening. Yeah, exactly. Because we, look, you see that knot right there? Go and tell the people why you was on your knees a lot. Praying. Praying. Speaking anyway. of speaking of praying, people people want to know how your date in Atlanta went, Sherry. Oh, oh my gosh, my date! I had two dates in Atlanta. I had a date in Atlanta. Oh, look, you, <laughs> you, had, you had you had uh, uh, you had oh, two men with you. Don't don't start By the tripping. Way, 
Can I Please say something? Don't. Can I say something? I just yeah. assume this just shows what kind of a piece of garbage I am. K Sherry, you guys are like, oh, I went on dates, hung out with this person. I told Kim, I was like, when you say that, I always just assume you sleep with people. No. <laughs> Not <laughs> you. And, and nobody sleeps. Yeah, that's because he's white. No. What? Absolutely. You don't have just because you're on a date, Chris. You don't have to sleep. No, oh, that's great. You all are just having. Damn, that's because Chris, Chris young. I will take back the white. He young. Yeah, Bible Chris Bible young. reading get-togethers. But you know, Chris calls me. You know, I'm I know. I feel, I know. I can. I can. I can glean that. From and we have long conversations. I do. I said, Chris is trying and you know why to wear it pisses me, down. me off because why? I go, I can't even get you on the phone to focus for five minutes. But you having long conversations with Chris because that's because he's a man. The her long long. <laughs> I know y'all be talking Chris and I go I, I try to get Kim on a, Kim and I are doing another comedy special you think I can get her on the phone so we can get together and work on the material oh, let's no see. but you she has these little long conversations with Chris because we are talking business no you're not when Chris talks to me we talk business if we were if we were really talking business, you would tell me that uh, you would have told Sherry you can't go to St. Lucia because we have a date that we were looking to, uh, to oh, lock so, in. Anyway, the date that Chris has for us to go to St. Louis to do the Two Funny Mamas podcast, we're supposed to come to St. Louis. We're supposed to have been there November 5th. So Chris was really excited because he booked the venue. He got everything down for us to come November 5th. Well, we can't because we're going to be in St. Lucia. Oh, is that on the same time? Yes, we and we can't Chris, go to St. Louis. No, no, Chris can't come with you. Okay. We I don't think I'm allowed. I don't think I'm allowed at uh, at the no, event, you're not at, the allowed. Event, no, at the event no, you're no, going I'm to. Be single. Let me tell you. You still going? They breathing down my neck right now. Yes, they are. But that's we're still going. We've already as soon as we get off the live, we're gonna purchase the tickets. Our I plane tickets. Go ahead we are married. going to see. No, you're not gonna get married. I not before we go on this trip. I don't care. We're not before we go on this trip. Need somebody to help me buy a car and no. check out some no, luggage. You don't. Um, no, you don't. You can do all that by yourself. You have you help. ever got one of these? I'll get you luggage. That's a damn trip. We're gonna end up in a gay relationship. So either, <laughs> so either way, we will have a different date, and it's already been worked out because I get I get it done, Kim. I get because wait, first of all, done. let me tell you where we're going. We are going single ladies. Let me tell you something. When they say you have to put yourself in the place that single men are, if you want to be in a relationship, you can't. If you if you're sitting here going, uh, I'm gonna stay at home and I'm gonna wait for God to bring me my man. Well, unless he gonna come fix your plumbing, he's a plumber or your cable. I don't know how he's gonna drop into your head. So you gotta put yourself in situations where single men are gonna be. Now, people say go to Home Depot. People say go to the golf course. Home Depot got married. Then. <laughs> oh, I, no, I, saw, no, I, just, I saw Elder Barge at Home Depot. I've gone there, but I go and the cashier's like, really? Again? I was like, just bring up the strap. <laughs> But they say go to Home Depot, they say go to these places, go play golf. You know where Kim and I are going? We're going to St. Lucia for a week with the Black Scuba Divers Association. That's gonna be fun. I was, I was, I was, uh, ooh, I was late. Uh, Black Scuba Divers Association. I was up to four o'clock in the morning too because I was making our plane reservations. And this I was is the at Black the poker game. You were at a poker game looking for strippers, but let me tell you something about the Black Scuba Divers Association, and then we're gonna go back to Why the stripper. Why do you have to be so thing. honest on the live? Because it, it was, we have no time to edit. No, we don't. Just, well, because it's live. You, you can't edit on the live. You could have said I was at the poker game trying to play cards. I mean, I could have, but we're about to talk about how we're going to the strip club in the same sentence of asking Donnie truth. and Fred. No, we can't. It's Kyle mad at me. I hope not. No, he's not. But you okay. can't say his name on the No, he's oh, not mad I'm at not you. I'm not supposed to say his name. Because you're going to have him with that other thing. Yes. I'm so you're going to make all that. I'm going to take care of him. No, hey, man, please. You need to be mad at yourself. <laughs> well, you supposed oh, to be telling I'm everything. Sorry. So we're going. It's the Black Scuba Divers. It's scuba Divers. Scuba Divers Association. And these are all of these black school okay, divers and these are all a lot of black Chris men and let me tell you why this is such a Chris ain't gonna make it. i don't i said chris run this you're gonna run this 30 minutes don't let sherry talk over 30 minutes chris was like i got you i got you he ain't got shit you trying to tell a man to stop me from doing what i'm supposed to be doing are you kidding me chris are you Kim, kidding me something about me i like going long okay you do, <laughs> and I don't like it. You didn't even catch, about you catch the sexual I'm window. mad about it. I don't care. Okay. Well, you got a thousand people watching on YouTube. I think that's pretty good. Well, let me tell them about this organization. 
Here's the thing. This is so fun. And Kim says, Kim says to me, oh my gosh, wait, what if it's the Black Doctors Association? I don't care if it's the Black scuba divers, the Black doctors, or the Black mm -hmm. dentists. They all making money. And we going to St. Lucia. It all start with a thing. It all start with a <laughs> But here's the thing, and because this is better than Home Depot, because do you know how expensive it is to be a scuba diver? That's true. It's very expensive to scuba dive, which means if you are a black scuba diver, money. that means you got some money. It means you, you know, and so um, there'll be single black scuba divers. So I got together. Well, it wasn't really, wasn't really me, but I did ask some friends. It's like five of us going. We've That's rented out. Way. We've rented out a, a, a three bedroom villa with a rooftop pool. Oh my goodness! Yeah, oh, we gonna do it up. Cause first of all, a, a, a single black scuba diver ain't trying to go no ratchet girl. So first of all, when you walk in our villa, you like, oh, they got it going on, right? But it's seventeen of us in there. <laughs> but it's nineteen of us in there. We all paying fifty dollars each for this nine thousand dollar villa. Oh, they ratchet. <laughs> no. So uh, we we got it. We can have a nice spread. We got the rooftop pool. Oh, we gonna have a nice spread. Oh, right? it's gonna be lit. I sent Kim videos of my outfits, and they're all fish net. I got a fish net dress. Why don't you even it's, buy these outfits? Why the dress, Chris. The dress is all mesh. Uh, it's all it. mesh, and it's see through, and it's black. It's gorgeous. I got nothing to and then I have a dress that's like completely like it just fits, fits. Oh, and that's a see through dress, right? Look at you. Remember, all my stuff is see through. But I was no like, way. where did you get stuff from and when did you order it? Why do you have it? I was trying to my, all my stuff on yesterday. Well, where'd you get them from? Why? I got them from these places because I, here's the thing so manifesting. No, I just kept saying, we're going to go on a trip. Oh, look at this oh, dress. Pretty. Oh, can you put it up to the thing? Look at that that's dress. Pretty. That dress is the bomb. You better hope it don't go to the next video. That is vacation ready. Look at that dress. Look at them drawers on the counter. Look at this dress. <laughs> Share, hey, for all the... I know Kim's proud of you. and That's I know a she, beautiful dress. I, that dress. I know she jokes around a lot about... Uh, about Sherry feeling herself. This? I'm going to wear that dress, baby. Losing Watch them. when I walk through the lobby with that dress on. Look at that. I'm going to put some underwear on, but I'm going to wear it. Hilarious. I was going to say, I know that Kim likes to give you trouble. She likes to joke that you're feeling yourself a little too much. Congratulations. Everybody's really happy for you. You are having the time of your life. And I think Kim feels the same way. I think she's a very genuine no, person. Kim is actually, we, but it's funny. We have two different personalities with as far as our weight loss. And so for me, it's like you, you don't understand like the daily choices we have to make to first of all lose the weight and to maintain the weight and because we like going back to our comfort food and so to say no all the time and you get these results it's so gratifying and there are things that we're able to do that we weren't able to do kim did a video about the fact that she could see her clavicle bones that was a big deal to her show them off that boss she, that she could huh show them off boss yeah look at the look at these bones right here look at that Okay, you don't have to look like that. Good <laughs> grief. And it's such an accomplishment. And I'm so proud of Kim because I got this picture of her where you were like four times your size. And I'm like, oh my things. gosh. I was like, why ain't nobody saying nothing? But y'all don't understand when Kim was like really, really big, she was falling asleep all the time. She couldn't breathe don't right. Say that, her right now. <laughs> and I'm so proud you of her, but that. For me, like there's always clothes that I've wanted to wear. You're a prostitute. Oh, look at that one right there. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. So when I turn around, you can show it. Okay, now you can show. It. Look at that friggin'. <laughs> okay, now, all right. All right. <laughs> I just ain't got you working out on the day. You can't show it. So whenever I whenever I try to get new clothes, I try them on and I dance, and then I send the videos to Kim. Because I don't have a man to send them to. Oh joy! Oh joy! <laughs> Amazing. So, I said, so, but here's the manifestation part. I kept saying to myself, something good. I'm going on a trip. I'm going to go on a trip. And then as far as a man, I'm, I'm not, I'm not bitter or anything that I'm single. I'm excited 
for who is my equal to come into my life. I'm so excited. Yeah, we, like I, yeah, we, I'm having fun dating. I freaking went on two dates in one night. I, I went on another date. I, you like, I'm excited for who's coming in. That's great. Yeah, and, it, and it's I'm and not it's, excited. I'm very excited. Like you're gonna meet your equal. You can you're gonna meet somebody who doesn't mind you have two hundred people at your house at any given time. You're gonna meet somebody who doesn't mind the fact that it's just it you that you get you know pieces of you to everybody because that's the wonderful person that you are. We're going to meet that person. We don't need you to write a five hundred page dissertation on what you need. We're not telling you well what do you bring to the table, what you contribute into my life. It ain't it ain't that. And so I have been saying this every day. I've been saying things like um, that person is will find me. That person will be attracted to me. And guess what? We have the opportunity to go to St. Lucia. We're going to meet some people. We're going to connect with some people. It is like it's going to be fly. Are you kidding me? We're going to have a great time. I don't feel like if I had gotten my breast reduction, I'd feel better about it. Like whoa, 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 whoa. Do you understand how good you're going to look at a bikini? You need your boobs. No. It's... We're going to put on bikinis. Wait First a minute. All, you know, nobody going to be. You understand toting these things around every day is exhausting. I got the same ones. You yes, I know. And you got to put them in a bra. You got to put them in a bikini. I'd like to just not put them in. <laughs> you like tucking them in your pocket or something. I'm doing it for a long time. Yes, we have been doing it for a long time. They're they're a part of who we are. They're yes. our sisters. It is just it is. Right. Yeah, you do because you're not gonna have this attitude and say, Lucia, well, we at our on our private rooftop pool because I'm gonna invite some people up. Shoot. Okay. We have they having an all white party. Like everybody's going, they're gonna be fly, and we are going to be fly as well. And we're going to have fun. And you know what? We're gonna meet somebody. And then, okay. And then what if we meet somebody and they got somebody at home? Then you know what? There's the thing. Then that wasn't our equal. And you smile oh, and you no, keep no. it moving. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. But it's like anything. After years of doing something, you get tired. You know? Then you're gonna take naps. Okay, we're gonna make well, sure you well, take no, naps. It's just like, you know, the dating process, you know, getting dressed, putting lipstick on, being all cute. And well, you should want to do that anyway. Get dressed, put lipstick on, and be I don't. Cute. I don't. I like to meet a man in my sweats on the basketball court. Not going to happen. Well, maybe you might. At the, or at I'm the not saying, like, maybe just you a might. regular place. Like, I like to just meet a man where I am. I don't want to do the whole... But you don't want to meet. But you don't want a man to meet you like the Kim. You don't want a man to be like, you know what? I just want to meet a, a, a woman in my drawers and fart. I no, just want to no, be I'd like I'd like to meet a man in some gray sweatpants, for sure. No, you don't. No, but you I don't. see the look on her face. I think she's serious. Very sweatpants. You do not want to meet a man like that. You want a man to present you his best. We always keep asking True. men to work. You got to do this. You got to do the, this right, to get me. Right, but right. we never want to do the work. All you I want, want your presentation to, to be. Beautiful. I want him to brush his teeth, wash his ass, put on a little cologne, trim up, and and and, and if he got the side tooth, we put that partial in. <laughs> I don't want that side tooth missing. No, I don't want none of that. Yes, well, that's what I'm saying. I don't want so the, you got to do I don't the want same his thing. Dentures clacking. I don't you got to do the same thing. You don't want your dentures clacking. I don't have dentures. <laughs> that's the energy I need when we go to St. Lucia. You know, that's I mean, the energy I need. Because I've been around men so long. Yes. Even last night, but I was I'm around you know all what? men. It was fun. It was cool. But I can sit through the bullshit. <laughs> I can see right through it because who's my brother? Thank you. The biggest bullshitter. Yes. He <laughs> I don't want me Kyle. Game. He has but you know what? So Kyle with his little fine stuff. And so. I can see it like that. Now, my other brother, square, square, square. Yeah, but, but Kyle, brother, Kyle. Kyle's so damn funny. Kim, if y'all if y'all saw our live before, Kyle got on our live. Yep. And Kyle is so heterosexual, caveman. When we said, if a woman sends you a drink, he was like, I'm going to get that booty. <laughs> Don't be sending me no drink. You send me a drink, I'm getting that booty. <laughs> yes. And I was like, no to self. Don't yes. ever send a man a drink. That was, that was a bit much. Some men like that. Kyle's just too rough. Kyle likes to chase. Yes. Kyle likes to hunt. So the man we met last night, when, he, yes. when I tell you he was breaking down, he got three wives. Oh, no, it was it was deep. It was deep. But yes, he said you gotta have the money wives. to have that. Yes. Yeah, you need money. But to you have know what he said? Wives. Why he ended up with three wives? He why? said because 
men love to conquer. He was saying that, he said, and every time it felt like a conquest, he wanted to, to conquer the woman. And that's what I looked at my girlfriend and I said, didn't I tell you? They always are on the hunt. What did Kyle say? They're hunters. And when a man's hunt, you can't get caught Okay, but in then this trap. is also what I say. Just like Kyle, men, after a while, they make the conscious decision to stop. There are some men who don't. They want to keep hunting. Right. But then so a the man gets that, to a certain level of maturity. He goes, I didn't hunted everything. But can he text me when he's made that decision? So I ain't gonna, <laughs> he's, he's going through all this. Just text me and say, you know what? I've made the decision. I mean, even Kyle, without giving away his business, mm -hmm. Kyle has said, I'm, I'm making a decision. I'm not going to be on the hunt anymore. Right, because I'm at a certain age, and I want something in my life stability. that I'm not stability that I'm not going to get if I keep hunting. Yeah, I need somebody because you to keep wipe my ass when I get older. Uh, oh wow, I love the terms uh -huh. you put it in. How okay. how not the nice. base? No, not well, at all. Well, you know, you want that's not what you put on your bumble. Okay, profile. okay, okay. I want somebody to grow old with. Okay, but then it's still I want somebody, somebody to travel with, have fun with, build a fortune with. Then you got me. I was just about to say, why the hell? Darlita you know, says, Darlita you know, says, Kim, just yeah. make sure they have fix it in, on hand, no teeth clacking. And I, I got my side teeth. Yep, you yeah, I don't need no fix it in. I got all my teeth. And uh, she flosses them 7,000 times a day. I'll be flossing. Right. Listerine and then floss. That's why the dudes ain't talking to you. Love and blessings. Don't you bring Listerine to St. Lucia. Oh my gosh, I, I was so self-conscious. Why not scope? Who wants Listerine, Listerine in their mouth? Listerine kills 99.9% .9 of the bacteria That's what you mouth. sound like, a my, medical clinic. You smell like a my, medical oh, clinic. Oh, Chris, my girlfriend made me so self-conscious because I floss pretty much like three times a day. And I Listerine a lot. I have Listerine tablets. I'm Listerine. Because when you get up in his mouth, it's clean. You mm. got to know that mm. it's clean and it tastes fresh. Mm. But my girlfriend told Chris, me. you're going to get hurt you, uh, one more time. <laughs> Ain't thinking about me. I'll let you know it right uh, now. Way too much. I'm too conservative. It's almost for Chris. disrespectful. I'm too conservative for Chris. Chris, for, with me, Chris, get it in the back end. With Take you, it easy. All oh, in the wait front. A minute. And I don't oh, mean no. like that, Chris. That was uh, all. I don't mean uh, like that. Uh, uh, you know I what I mean? <laughs> Chris gets it in the back end. Not no, not what not I mean, I don't show all my stuff. Like you let Chris knows what he's gonna get when he gets you. You don't <laughs> you're talking about it like it's a good <laughs> If Chris get with me, we, you call my stuff in the intimate when it's both of us. That's when you see my stuff. Kim let you know. I don't want somebody to wipe my ass. I'm not going to ever say that to I would man. never say that out loud. We just you just said, said it out loud. What I'm saying is, I'm not, well, I'm with the man. I'm not going to say, I need somebody to wipe my ass. What I'm going to say is, you know I'm going to wipe your ass. When you <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we go on, read us some of the comments because I'm very curious as to what people. Oh man, read, read oh, us some. Um, okay, great. Uh, <laughs> Chris, are you a hunter from Layla? Uh, we've got uh, loving Sherry, uh, Marsha T, loving Sherry, loving her, and set herself free to live life. Ba yeah, go to the islands, have fun, enjoy, and dance. Will you do that for Marsha? Yes, we will, yes. Marsha. AJ, AJ gets a shout out. Rolanda gets a shout out. Lois wants to know where uh, where that neighbor went that was here earlier that was talking to Sherry. The neighbor. What? The neighbor that was talking to Sherry. I was trying oh, to, what? Oh. I was trying oh, to talk. Stopped. Trying to talk code. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, they want to know uh, we had, uh, I believe Carpe asked, did the question from the Atlanta dates ever get answered? What oh, I'll happened? answer really quickly. I will answer really quickly. I went on, on two dates in Atlanta. And um, I have really, y'all know my dating saga. If you've been watching the Two Funny Mamas podcast, I went from I'm too busy to date. I can't date. I'm scared to date. I'm too bossy. And I was talking to this uh, a relationship coach. And something she said changed my paradigm. It just made it shift. She said, you, you're putting too much pressure on yourself, Sherry, when you're talking about dating. Stop looking for the one. You Take that pressure off. Look at dating not as you're trying to find the one or you're trying to get married. That's my problem. Whenever I would go on a date, I'm looking at you like we're going to get married. She said, look at dating as if you're making a connection. You're finding out what you like. Dating shows you what you will and will not take, what you do and do not like. 
She said, so look at it as just you're making a connection and you're having fun and you're learning about people. So that took the pressure off of me about dating. because, And she said, most women who are afraid of getting hurt end up getting hurt. And I did a mind shift of mm -hmm. I'm not going to stop thinking about the fact that somebody's going to hurt me and or betray me. Really yeah. And I, and because Kim was always getting on me when we went, when we went to Ronald Isley's 80th birthday party, as soon as I walked in, I said, they're a certain age and most of them are gay. And Kim said, when you say that you cut yourself off and I had a good time. And Kim said, but you had a good time by yourself. You was dancing by yourself. You didn't see that man looking at you, that man looking at me. And then like an NBA, somebody texted me and said, I got an NBA player I want to introduce you to. And I said, nope, they cheat. And Kim said, again, you're cheat, cutting yourself off. Cheat. Cheat, cheat, cheat on you. They cheat on their women. And Kim said, you're cutting yourself off from an experience. So when I was talking to this coach, uh, I said, I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to be very open. And she also said to me, because I said, I want a man who adores me, who his stomach tingles when he sees me. And he says, that's my lady. And she said, but then how are you giving that off? How are you adorable? You want a man that adores you. How are you adorable? So I said, this is what I need to practice on. So with that. Taking them in the men's bathroom mm. while you're at the store. That's mm. how you adorable. Oh, that's what you're going to do to Chris. I mean, it keeps you adorable. They do adore you. They are, trust me, they take, they may, they are. Maybe in. that's why you tired and you can see through all the BS because you didn't took men in places you ain't supposed to be taking them. Instead of taking them in the parking lot and in the grocery stores and in the dressing room, now you can see through all the, I see through all the bullshit because you taking them to places they ain't supposed to be. No, 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 Sherry, this is, you, you are right. But uh, I think it's more because Kim's looking in the mirror when she knows that. She knows these things because this is the way she thinks. She knows what turns men on. That's what Kim be titillating people. Titillating? Mm. You be titillating people. Yeah, she does. Uh, they said, yeah. don't bring sand to the beach. I prefer to be with someone, though, Carpe. So don't bring any dates, guys. No, we're not. No, no, wrong. we're not bringing dates to the beach. You, Absolutely man. not. Wait, can I finish my the Atlanta story? They would like to know what kind of salad you want. Can you please? They stand in the. Oh, uh, salmon table. salad. Uh, no, they don't have salmon at the. the what chocolate. kind of meat do they have in the salad? Remember, you got well, the, I feel like this is a replay of the podcast. You got the chicken and you want the cranberries. I don't remember the all of that. The chicken, the cranberries, kale and lettuce. kale lettuce with avocado. Avocado and uh, yeah, avocado, cranberries. Kale, lettuce, was some and, nuts in there or something? Uh, maybe I don't need uh, any nuts. I don't need. It makes me blow. So okay, no yeah. nuts, and just the regular the the kale, lettuce, and uh, some uh, peppers. Like if they have sweet peppers, peppers. If they have sweet peppers, but uh, chicken, shred up, and tell them to chop it up really fine. Because you got bad teeth. No, I just like it. I, it's hard <laughs> to eat salad unless it's chopped up really like fine. So I did the um. So I said, this is going to be my year. I might write a book because I'm, I'm journaling everything. Mm -hmm. This is my year of saying yes. Instead of saying no, when somebody says, if somebody comes up to me and says, Sherry, so-and-so is interested in you. They want to take you out. Instead of me going, mm, I, don't know, I go, yes, absolutely. So what kind of dressing? Balsamic? Um, yeah. Olive oil. Um, yeah, because I got to go to Dallas to roller skate. So oh, I can't. You're going I can't to Dallas? Yeah, I'm going to Dallas on July 2nd to roller skate. Why? Cause I'm gonna be with Push, the white boy. I don't understand. Do you just do these random? Yes, trips? I'm getting on a plane for one day. Why? Roller why? Skate. Why? We we have work to do. You got me doing the podcast by myself. You think I'll be back? I'm coming you? back. No, we got stuff. I think to I'm gonna do. have a party on the fourth of July. July. I'm back on the fourth of July. We're gonna, we're gonna have to end this live because I'm about to cuss out. It's gonna be on. We live. got we got what? people begging to hear the end of the Atlanta story. Finish your little Atlanta story. It's not little because I was with you. So anyway, I wasn't on none of this. Anyway, <laughs> let me tell you about the, the first date. This was an Instagram date. A gentleman put in one of my comments on one of my pictures because um, I go through and read the comments and like them and make comments. And he said, would you ever consider dating a hardworking man who's not a celebrity? Normally, I would go, no because I don't know you like that and you're probably a killer. So I DM'd him and I said, maybe, tell me about yourself. Hilarious. He was a cop. He was a federal police officer, gorgeous body, worked out, nice looking. 
And uh, I said, you got to give me your information because I'm going to give it to everybody because I was going to Atlanta. He lived in Atlanta because I have to give information to everybody. I'm not just going to show up with you just because you're on Instagram. That's how you get killed. Everybody knew where he was, who he was. He checked out. Um, people did like vetted him. He was a federal police officer. So uh, I said, yeah, I'll go out with you. So I got to Atlanta. He and we only uh, texted through Instagram. He didn't have my number or anything. So it was all through Instagram. And we met. I met him at the place. He was very nice looking. He was six feet one. And um, I have a. What am I supposed to say? Six foot one. He's six feet one? Not feet, it's six foot. Oh, he's six foot one? Ask Alexa. Alexa, is it six feet one? Correct? She she wants to say something stupid. Sorry. I don't know that. I know you don't, Hoffa, because you don't know a lot. <laughs> you don't know you nothing, Alexa. Everything we you listen say, to everything we say. But Alexa, you don't know nothing. But you don't know nothing. But you'll listen to everything we say. And if we talk about cars, it'll be a damn Mercedes ad. Yeah, exactly. All in our business, but you don't know nothing. You need to go read some more books. Yeah. There you go, Alexa. I agree. So we went out and we met. Uh, at the place that he was going to take me. And then we decided, then uh, Old Lady Gang, Candy Burris' restaurant was right next door. Oh, yeah. The Old Lady Gang. And I had never been, and there was a crowd outside. And I said, oh my I'm goodness, sleepy. do you mind if we go to Old Lady Gang? And he said, yeah. And he now here's the thing where I got to learn to shut it down a little bit. He said, yeah, but you have to make a reservation to get in. Well, I know Candy Burris. Like, she on my phone. And so, uh, oh, we, that's a celebrity I know, but you wanted me to call a man. Um, so I texted Candy and I said, Candy, we're outside Old Lady Gang. Can we get in? Of course, Candy's like, of course, whatever you need. So I said to him, if you don't mind, I know a couple people who work at Old Lady Gang and I think I can get us in. And he said, absolutely, of course. So we go on Old Lady Gang. We're sitting there. And I and, and when I tell you, when you go on a date, because I was always worried, what am I going to talk about? What if he don't like me? What if he, what if he, and the relationship coach said to me, stop worrying about that. Men don't want you to be perfect. So if you're nervous, say, I'm nervous. They want to know that you're not perfect. And I said, well, how do I flirt? I don't know how to flirt. And she said, Sherry, go in with the characteristics that you have. Mm -hmm. The characteristics that you have. She said, lead with who you are. You like to laugh. You like to have a good time. You're curious about people. So in the podcast, you always asking questions and you talk. Lead with that. So I love to laugh and I love to have fun and I love to smile and I love to know about people. So he's a federal police officer. What do you ask him? I said, how do you feel in this climate being a cop? I said, can I see your badge? That sucker was heavy. And then I was like, you got a gun? He showed me his gun. He was telling me, I said, what's the craziest story you had? You ever have a woman trying to get out of a ticket when she flirting with you? He was like, as a matter of fact, I have. You know what was me? And I was like, for real? But I was, it wasn't inauthentic. I was so interested in what he had to say. He's probably listening now to this. <laughs> he's probably hacked your Alexa if he's working for the federal but government. It was, it, was, it was a lot of fun and we sure. laughed. Now, the, the problem was, was a lot of people recognized me at the restaurant. So they was asking if they could take pictures. And I would say to him, do you mind if I take a picture with this person? He was great. You know, the one thing that I liked about him too, there was a lady she had brought... Uh, 22 women from Alabama for her birthday, her 40th birthday. And I took a picture of all the ladies. He sent her a drink. Oh, that's He good. sent her a drink. And I thought that was so nice. Oh, that is good. It was very, I thought it was very, um, uh, it's very hospitable and gentlemanly of him. But we had the good time because I asked about him. He asked about me. I asked him, you know, about his kids, you know, and we had, look at you falling asleep out of she's the still gotta go to. She still has to go to, to diamond, to the strip club. To so the that diamond was, store. I'm going to, I'm going to end this thing and say, well, I, we had a good time. Four, yeah. So did you I. I went to bed at 3.40. Who, whose choice woke, was that? I woke up about five in the morning. Whose choice was that? And then I wake her up at five or six in the morning and she's like, I'm asleep. Well, get up. People, and, you and, stop being lazy. And Chris, you're a liar. <laughs> Tell him why I'm a liar. Yeah, I said, Chris, how long we been on? Because I, me and Chris had a deal. How long we gonna stay on? He said 29 minutes. We been on for 29 minutes. You, if you believe that, Chris is black. Yeah. <laughs> Read some in the comments. 
Oh, we've got so many. They want to know. Here's the here's the most pressing. Uh, they want to know. Did you all get Andre his computer? <laughs> Here's the deal. All right. I, I misspoke a little bit because I forget if y'all go on Andre's Instagram, this ninja here. Okay, Andre, we love Andre. We love him we so do. much. Okay, if you go on Andre's Instagram, he may, Andre has an eye for visual arts. He's one of the best in the business to me. And so Andre made all of these little like 20 second vignettes of him making a smoothie. He makes things look sexy. Yeah, and so there, look at Andre's Instagram. There's one of him coming out of a pool, Hello? a tub, a bathtub, and all the candles are lit. That's my bathtub. Oh, okay. Andre was house sitting and watching my dogs. So I look at this Instagram of him coming out. Did you see the one of him in the bathtub? Yeah, coming out of the bathtub. He was in my bath. I said, this nigga got all my candles. I did like this. <laughs> Only in your tub. He in my tub. Putting his DNA on You're going to make me wet my pants. He done lit all my candles because I have candles all around. I have a huge tub. And it's very romantic. He had a speed and the fireplace on there. The speed and I have a fireplace over my tub. And you step in. I got a beautiful tub. It is it is made for two people to make love in my tub. This man, Andre, come up and water is dripping off his body. Oh, okay, he made dudes. it look so sexy. Um, Andre. Two, two dudes are here. Who, who? Two, dudes, don't worry two guys. Go ahead. Don't. Wait, who is that? She's this nigga, yeah. Oh, you ain't got to say it like that, but the other dude ain't. This, is it uh, Kyle? Is that what is that? Look at chest. He look good. Minye been working out. Minye, Minye been working. Is, I know his mama. Minye though. is my son's mentor. Um, hey, Minye, you, know. you look good in that white T-shirt. Come here, y'all. Let me you show you this little young. I want to show them one of the No, don't let them see what we're doing. No, but they're so cute. They suit you. You know, I wonder if sometime in yet, if I wonder if sometime in yet, gonna be in. like, is Sherry gonna hit on me? <laughs> I'm not, but I love him so much. He's both like, of hey, y'all, both of y'all, come BJ. here, come here, bring that one. Tell both the little boys to come here. Is that a white boy? No, he's black. Uh, I don't care. No, they was hey, working, hey, they was hey, working hey, out at BJ, the gym. Bring again. your friend. Bring your friend. <laughs> Yeah, tell me about pink shirt. So y'all have to meet Minye, and that's just here one of the things while we're while we're waiting for the gentleman to uh, <laughs> to come on. So uh, Andre, so his right. birthday came, and and Andre uses all these sophisticated computers to edit all of this stuff. So when his birthday came, I was like, oh, what about you a computer? So when I asked Andre what kind of computer he he wanted, he said he wanted a high end one that was powerful, an Apple that was powerful for editing. And I was like, how much that costs? So I told him, Kim was worse than me. She was like, tell that so-and-so, he ain't getting no computer. Like I said, well, Andre, can we get you a Delco computer? We'll get you, we'll get him a new set of AirPods. Oh, she said, please don't, don't look at my house. Can y'all come say hi? Oh. On here, anybody got warrants? I do. Oh, y'all cute. For come Jay on Walker, in. All right, you gotta bend down. This Min is Minye. That's Minye. This Sorry. is Minye. Come on in, come on, on in. Come on in. Look at this. <laughs> That's okay. Minye. And I'm KP where I'm at. Oh, hey. Hello, hello, hello. That's how we keep them around the house. <laughs> hey, this yeah, is... I saw you walking that little chest, not little. Chest. Oh. Stop saying little. I got it. Remember, I got in trouble with that. Who yeah. was that that got me? You, cause, um, uh, uh, you kept saying somebody was little. Hey, it was, uh, have a have a seat, fellas. This is the first ever OnlyFans of two phony mamas. This is going to be a good night. Oh, this is the OnlyFans edition. Oh, sweat. how much we charging? How much we making? I know that's right. But Minye, I see you got a new fresh T-shirt. You probably bought that since you've been working out because you didn't used to wear them kind of T-shirts in my it's, house. It's laundry day. It's all with the V-neck and tight on day. your chest. I don't appreciate that. It's what, I ain't trying to catch you. I cut cake. my chest here this morning. Minye, you have to introduce your friend. You got to introduce your friend. This is, my, this is my boy. This is KP. Hey, KP, you want to sit next to me? Here, sit in the middle of us. I'm I'm no, sure that's man. right. <laughs> I like that. Come on, KP. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. Let's find out about you. Okay. Yeah, so you got to put a cheek on each one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, we got... You can't let me sit like this. <laughs> no, I am cracking. That's the whole point. Yes, Minye is family, and this is KP. I'm KP, not KP, can I tell all of our okay. listeners we're doing a live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time? Okay. Can I tell I them what your goal is for the yes. summer? KP's goal is he's been working out with so Minye. So you know him too? 
We just, just met today. This is we just met today. We just met today. And, and because I told you I joined 24 Hour Fitness. And oh, the year okay. works out there all the time. So he's got mm-hmm. muscles. You just can't sit down in a chair. <laughs> so he had, he KP was with him. KP's goal is working out. Yep. He's going shirtless for the entire I'm going, summer. I'm going shirtless. Soon by August, with me ain't safe, I'm no shirt. <laughs> Can I, I ask care. you why you don't want to wear a shirt? Are you over 19? I, just need to I am. I am old. Oh, <laughs> wow. wow. To, to, to guys, I'm old. I'm 30. I'm 35. Damn, you look like you're 15. You, you look too old. Bye. Do I? Am oh, I too old? See, <laughs> cut the beard. Show without the beard. I know. I got, you got I'm some synthetic beard I'm on. supposed to get my hair cut today. I didn't make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> we picked it up. I mean, yeah, morning. I swear to gosh, everybody you hang out with is like 60, but y'all all look 17. Hey. <laughs> That's yeah. wisdom. Tell her, tell her you got wisdom. Yeah, right. I got the look. I got the gray in my belly. Tell so you, you, you made a wish to be me. <laughs> it was like I was 17 this morning. I made a wish to be me. <laughs> so you got your shirt when? August. In August, he's going. Yeah, got me in there every day in the gym. I'm not wearing any shirt. I told all my uh, all my followers, hey, everybody, be you ready. What's up, Gucci? Probably smell my dog Thor on me. That's death. So you're gonna go shirtless, uh, Minye? Are you gonna go shirtless for this? Um, I'm gonna leave that to the experts. Uh, you the that, expert. Uh, want to go shirtless? Uh, I like doing laundry. I like wearing two pieces of clothing when I wake up in the morning. I don't care. I like I'm, putting I'm on a not, shirt and my shirt. Your shirt's a little tight. I, I mean, I work hard in the gym. I like to, you know, he's trying to show that you know what we show your guns working. off, Minye. Go show, 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 show your guns. I got synthetic. I got synthetic. Oh, some of my only fans. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, watch out, man. You ain't coming there. Watch out. You want wait, I can't. Oh, you got a little something. We got a little something. There you go. We got a little something. There you go. Let me tell you something. This arm wasn't like that a month ago. What? <laughs> many, many lonely nights will get you arms like this. You better That's get true. your hands. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> 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 Around Christmas time, I was like, Manny, help me. With, can you get the lights good? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was doing it. But I'm like, oh, look at oh, it. Oh, like, it was more like, oh, he's so sweet. Did, can I tell like, you one reason why you're single? Because you keep bringing up people's past instead of where they are right now presently. Uh, you oh, you do that to girls? No, yeah, they, this is what women need to stop doing. Oh, Kim, when yeah. when when they show you something, that, and I do this with Andre, let me, let me they show you something, okay, you're going to keep talking. She's sitting there hugging her damn self at night just like me. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't understand how that's the case for very attractive females. Y'all have it so easy. You can literally go to any event, function, walk outside and say, you, you right there. Take me out. And just throw like the way we just did you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, you, guys, you guys are actually on a date right now. And we know his mama. Yeah. So none yeah, of that. I'm, I'm, I'm chaperoning. I'm I didn't know this. Since it was little. Well, we were talking about the double dates. So if we take you, me and Sherry going to take you out. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Take me on. We gotta get go. you a longer beard yeah. on that day. We gotta get the extended. We got the okay. extension. No, 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 extension to your beard. Explain. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. You don't want none of this. These two right here just wake up fifty-seven. Oh, what's going on? Whoa, that's too much. What's, 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 what's going to happen? That's the your premium only fan. That's when we have to go premium. Your age overnight. I don't. I don't. I don't. Sherry ain't gonna shut up. I'm gonna fall asleep. It's gonna be a lot. You gonna sleep? It's a lot. Is that how y'all nights go? What's no, like, what's not, like, no, what's like a, you. what's a, so what's a, what's a, a, a date like, a date for in the evening pertaining to y'all too? How I'm a homebody. I like, I like to stay the, home I like, I do too. So I like, like what, what, you a cancer? What, I'm a Pisces. <gasps> Yo, you, you like fish. Pisces. You fish. Right? Cancers and Pisces. You're you're cancer him? Are they signs that get along, oh, cancer and Pisces? Really? Is that a strong, Strong. Very strong. Very strong. It is very, I figure it's very strong. Where your mom? You know? You know what she mama sure. oh, Your mama passed. So did my mother. Maybe they're together. They, they, show. they oh, in there for sure. Oh, they have it. I'm sorry to hear that. This is starting off good. This is starting off real good. This is going to work out. Yeah. So you know, yeah. Everybody yeah. out there, this is going to work out. It's a little weird. No, 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 no. That's how you change it. I can be your mom. <laughs> 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 And there it is. It's a little awkward. <laughs> but I do have a ten year old. It'd be weird. Oh. Help me your brother. Oh, uh, oh, this is hey. <laughs> so I think I think we can say, hey. hey, you got PlayStation? What's up? I think we can I think we can now say goodbye to our guests. It was it was fun. Oh look at mm-hmm. you you feeling some kind of way? No, I'm just having fun. And no. I was laughing and shit. <laughs> Is, is the guest us? Is that us? Yes. Oh, we are no. here. Right. 
Sorry. And now she wants y'all to go because I was having a good time. <laughs> she don't never want to see Miss me happy. Because we're uh-oh. doing a live. It right, is called, so they you gotta, see, it says two funny mamas. True. True. Well, two random dudes. Two funny yeah, don't say two funny mamas. Two random dudes. Two random dudes. The law of the jungle. You leave, I leave. Not the law of the jungle. Where did you get that law? I know who said that. always the law of the jungle. Alexa. What is the law of the jungle? I've heard that before. <laughs> so you four. The Hold law on. of the jungle is a South Korean reality documentary show that airs on SBS. Each episode features celebrities. Alexa, shut up. Stuff. She ain't been right. Well, she night. yeah. You know what? She didn't. Right. It's a different one though. In the book, I read that though in the book though. Mm-hmm. Alexa, saw, what is the law of the jungle? Maybe I said it wrong. According to Wikipedia. Law of the Jungle is a South Korean reality. Alexa, shut up. Alexa, shut up. Look, look, look. Shut up. You ain't got to ask her. I'll tell you what, what it is. What is the Law of the I Jungle? I can break it down to you. Mm. Don't worry about it. Hey, could y'all wait for I me? thought the Law of the Jungle of was, was I will. Kill or be killed. Wait a minute. Thank well, you, KP. Don't you worry. I'm not going Just, nowhere. I'm going to get it right for you. I'm going to get it right for you. I'm going to get it right for you. Okay. I'm going to do some push-ups. I'm going to get it <laughs> well, you getting closer to your shirt, your shirt let's go, KP. You are getting closer. Oh, yeah. oh, let me see your guns. Sorry, they're not there yet. They're not there yet. But they're getting there. Oh, they're getting there. Oh, Thank you, fine. KP. KP, you're fine. Get you some vodka. Chris, what are the there. comments say? Oh, uh, we've got a lot. We've got uh, it's going down tonight for AJ. Tyra says it's no longer about Sherry. <laughs> Everybody's really proud of Kim for finally waking up. Because uh, <laughs> uh, she woke up, didn't she? Cause mm-hmm. she went from doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Daddy, Simo C- C- enjoyed the slice of pecan pie and chocolate cake. Uh, oh. Crystal's laughing says go out and do some push-ups. Everybody heard that. That was hilarious. Everybody's mad at Alexa too. They're done with they're done with Alexa. They're and done with Alexa. Angel, yes. yeah. Uh Brenda says cancer season, baby. Happy birthday to all the cancers out there as well. That is so good. I want to say, yeah, hey to Tracy. She said her mother watches two funny mamas all the time. Oh, and, thank you. Uh, she said we've really gotten her mother. Through uh, Pastor Melvin King, thank you if you're watching. Oh, well, thank you, Pastor. Yes, we, pa- we usually Pastor. don't invite pastors to watch us at late at night. Yeah, Pastor may need to go read some scripture after. Mm-hmm. Uh, Darletha, no, Darletha, Darletha said, "Minye looks sexy." Mm-hmm. Oh, see, look at that. Look at Minye. You know, it's, I don't look at Minye like that because I've known Minye since he was little. Yeah, I don't look at him. Maurice like says uh, he's. Mama. Maurice has a new favorite triple chocolate thruple. Oh, triple chocolate thruple. Like you know, it's on my. I, I would never. I would never do a thruple with you. Ever. First of all, we never say never. We're going to St. Lucia. I would, you don't know. Yeah, no. I think things could get weird in oh, St. Lucia. Yeah. To let you know, two of us got to sleep in a bed together because we don't have enough beds in the. Uh, in the that's how it starts, Kim. <laughs> we trying to ball. We got to sleep in the same bed. Kim, that's how it starts. No. Oh no, it, it, same bed. Hard. I'm going to sleep in the bed with I'm Sherry. I'm sleeping on a couch. Because when I tell you, she going to pass out. I'm not worried about sure nothing. She, when she go to sleep, she go to sleep. But let me tell you how I manifest. When we go to St. Lucia, I'm going to be walking around with a smile on my face. I'm going to approach men. That's good. I'm going to be very proud you of you. You taught me this. Because Kim does this. This Kim is really good. The way she was with KP. And let me tell you something. KP is now in love. Um, <laughs> And Kim does this so beautifully. She'll be around a man and she'll go, oh, that's that cologne that you have on. I love that cologne. What is that you're wearing? And it makes a man puff up. When I tell you, and Kim will say those muscles. Look at those. Kim is very complimentary. She talk oh. about you crazy, Chris, but she gonna do the same thing. Vernette. Kim, she makes a man feel like a man. Vernette says, Chris, you can't be letting Kim disrespect you in your face like that with those young boys. <laughs> That's hilarious. Chris, don't you got nothing to worry about? But you about didn't look her. away, did you, girl? Uh-huh. Uh, Chris, couple, it was just couple people, couple people said my uh, my laugh sounded uh, jealous during that time. I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was. It was. No, 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 no. And we have a suggested price of starting at nineteen ninety nine for the only <laughs> for, for the OnlyFans subscription. Oh, that. Oh, if I was yeah, if I was such a good Christian girl, I'd do her OnlyFans. What no. do you do on OnlyFans? You do crazy stuff. You show me titties. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, oh, hell, no, to the or world. like those videos that I sent you. I would do those on OnlyFans. Girl, Tim Z would eat that up. Are you crazy? Exactly. See, and also another, you can't do uh, OnlyFans being, like, I don't know. 
A China Black China makes like twenty million. Oh. She makes twenty or thirty million. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to start one tomorrow. You know, you, you but you can because they would take the stuff and share it with people. They would. Yeah, you'd be on TMZ. Well, what if it's just something like this? You and Black China are not in the same leagues. No nope, level. No, so you're right. Okay. She's not gonna get in trouble because people would expect kill me. Oprah. Right. Oprah. You can't have an OnlyFans account and a WW uh, right. uh, uh, brand endorsement. Just won't work. We've got a uh, we've got an update from Lunell's Lunell's show and uh, at Helium here in St. Louis. MM, a loyal listener, always in the comments, always supporting. MM says Lunell's running late at Helium in St. Louis. <laughs> Oh, let me text her and go, where you at, darling? Oh, my gosh. Lunell, sure is, in, she... Lunell is in St. Louis? Oh, she's in St. Louis. Yeah, I would, I've had Lunell on my show a few times, but I've been... It's, I remember, uh, but... Uh, scheduling, yeah, scheduling didn't work out this time. I'm going to probably go to strip club tonight. Uh, am I supposed to be going to strip club with you? Well, you got, a whole, whole, you got a whole crew now. And you said she's going, too. My hairstyle. Okay. All right, oh I'm at the house. Oh, my God. You're going to need a van. All right, bye. Where's she at? A helium or, or levity? Helium in St. Louis. Oh, and telling us <laughs> on our live. She, I Berlin, think she's. I think she's probably just. Horrible. She's just letting the crowd settle in. That's what I bet. Okay, because she's she gonna be okay. like, she's gonna I'm, be like, bitch. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Oh. Is where I'm supposed to be. All right, Jay, um, Jay Hill wants to know the good strip clubs in in L.A. Where are you going? Oh, really? That's what you know. Who? Look, my girlfriend Tracy's mom. She's watching, watching us in us bed. Us, us, that's sweet. Oh my gosh, it's amazing! Thank you, everybody, for watching our live. Is it we Berlin hope, or Berlin, Tracy? I'm messing. We up. hope that you are enjoying we our live. You. We hope that you're like. Yes. At the end of the day, we just want you to be walk away and smile, and and feel better than when you came. Right? Yeah. So don't hold anything against us if you if you do uh, charge it to our head and not a heart. Uh, this is what we do. We're gonna go outside. I need to talk to these young men. Uh, you know, <laughs> you have Minye over here. Minye works for me. I sure do. He came, he said, I said, where are you going? He said, Kim wants me to fix her Christmas lights. She wants me yeah. to hang them. He was <laughs> gone all night <laughs> and, and the next friends. day. And, and he brought some friends. Never wasn't even KP. So he he did, brought some other men. So he did all the rocks for me. You know all the rocks he pulled out? Oh, my out? gosh. He brought a friend over the other day, pulled all the rocks out around the tree. So he come back home three days later. I go, Berlin. I Berlin. Said, Minye, where That's you been? Berlin. He said, Kim got me doing all of this stuff. I said, I was supposed to, you supposed to hang the lights. He's like, Sherry, she got me putting the tree up. She got me hanging the lights. She got me getting the bugs. I said, do you have your clothes on when you're doing it? And he was like, I will. Yeah. Uh, see, th listen, I pay him though. Ain't like how he got to do all that and he home with Sherry. no money. Sherry, he and, can, I, he and I feed him. She probably has a little short, short uniform she puts him in. Has uh -huh, some. Exactly. Has, has some he, knew, has, he was only supposed to hang the light. Has some boots. Has some I'm just getting out the shower. Oh, you me. <laughs> oh right. Oh, oh, here, grab a drink. Stick around. Sure, sure. Oh, okay. You, okay. You, yeah. You, Poor Minye, he was, and he oh, would come God. back over to be with Jeffrey. He was I'm so coming, tired. I'm coming, young man. Minye was so tired. That's what they all yeah, are, Sherry. If a man ain't tired when he's leaving your house, you're not adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, y'all, we gotta go. We Let's do have to go, because we gotta hit the script. Please up. subscribe to uh, Two Funny Mamas. Our podcast comes out every Thursday. Uh, we had a good time. Fred oh, Hammond, fun. Donnie McClurkin, will you take us out? Well, we're not supposed to be asking you to take us out because he who find a wife finds That's a good a thing. Good but we ain't looking for you to find a wife over here. We're just saying, you want to go out and grab a steak? Okay. Donnie and Fred Hammond, y'all, you leave comments in Fred Hammond's uh, too much. It's too much. box. Leave comments in Donnie McClurkin's box. Tell him we didn't put the gauntlet out in the name of Jesus and Habakkuk, Zephaniah, no, Ezekiel 17. Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do that? Because I need the voice of the Lord to go through the desert. Take us Fred to the mountain. Hammond. Take us Take to the mountain. mountain. Donnie McClurkin, I need you to hear me. Hold on one second. Let me see. I got a Marco Polo account. Let me see if I can leave a message for Donnie. Tell Donnie to take me out, Kim. I want you to leave it on Marco Polo. Yeah. No, I need you to do it. Yeah, I know. I need you to do it. Stop it. Just ask. You about to do the Marco Polo? Yeah, yeah. You're going to leave a message on, on Pastor that. Melvin King, text me. I'm a, I got a pastor, too. No, we. you can't go from pastor to pastor. We we, we got a challenge. It's for Fred Hammond, Kim. So what are you doing? 
You, Melvin, stupid. <laughs> ah, that's silly. Kim, you think you're gonna find the Lord tonight at that strip club? No. No, I gotta, I gotta get some dance. I bet there's. I bet there's a bunch of preachers there. Is that to Donnie? This is, this is Donnie. Oh, that's it. I see who it is. I got Stevie Wonder. Hold up. Okay, you, Steve, okay no, we're talking about now. Go don't ahead. say nothing crazy because I can't erase this. Okay. All right. All right? Don't. I'm telling I'm not you. I'm going to say nothing I, crazy. I'm going to smack I you. Know, first of all, wait a minute. I know Donnie McClurkin too. You ain't the only celebrity in his life. I've been knowing Donnie. Me and Donnie McClurkin did. Uh, what's Monique's show? The did Park you, is together. Did you date him like and you dated Moesha. my ex husband? <laughs> I didn't date your ex-husband, first of all. You went out with him one time. He asked right me now. to go out and I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me to marry him. He was hungry. Everybody <laughs> keeps asking about Daily Pop, Kim. Please say something oh, about Daily yes. Pop. Da Does Kim not look fabulous break. on I'm Daily Pop? Daily Why? Pop. You see my house. It's long. I got to take a break from Daily Pop. I got my whole family coming in. I can't let When are they coming it. in? On the 8th. Oh wow! You got. I already gave up one of your guest rooms. Yo, some of her family. I told I gave up one of my so guest listen, rooms. So yeah. listen, I just had. To, I just took a break. I love doing daily pop on E. Please keep supporting. I will be back. I just needed a break to get my house together. She's yes, like, I love that show. family coming and they're staying in like every nook and cranny of her house. Oh, well, I got to tell you from my house. When we get off this, I got to tell you something. Okay, All right. That's you can trip on that. All so right, are we gonna do the thing that for Donnie McCurkin or not? Oh, you still want to do it? Oh, that's right. What do you mean? What I want? He your friend. Let's call him and see if he answers. No, we're not calling him. We're getting off this line. Okay, well, I'm Just say, hey, Dolly. Don't you call Dolly McCurtain on this. I, I will leave this room. Don't you call Dolly McCurtain. Do the little Marco What's Polo. his last name, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you, you said, don't you call Dolly McCurtain. I, wait, I, my bladder. Let me, oh, my God. Me. Hold on a second. It's getting dark. Okay, hold on. Just chill out. Okay, here's Donnie. Okay, just say, because Donnie Don't likes me. Nothing. I'm not going to say nothing crazy. Hey, Donnie, how you doing? It's Kim Whitley. I was sitting here with your favorite girl, Sherry Shepard. Hey, hey Donnie. Thanks. Go ahead. Well, we wanted to Hi, Donnie. Say, do you know uh, Fred Hammond? Tell Fred. I said, hey, Fred. No, Fred's a friend of mine. Could you, no, you talk to Donnie. It's your friend. You always throwing Donnie's name. Do you know any of Donnie's songs? Cause sometimes I like to sing to that. First of all, I gave you Donnie McClurkin's song. Okay, well let's sing one together to Donnie. No, we. I know let's, the song. You didn't know well, the song. Let's sing the song to Donnie. Okay. What do you want to sing? I only know one of his songs. The other ones. Well, okay, well, let's sing the one that you know. No, I'm not. Don't be putting me on. I know Donnie McClurkin, but I always get it. Uh, it's called Stand. Okay. What do you do when, when you've done all you can? House? Seems like it never enough. Just, you just, just stand. stand. Cause when he was singing that on Oprah and on all to white do. and it just blew me away. You just stand. This is horrible. The Lord He's see. never gonna watch this thing. Okay, well just ask him what you was gonna ask. Him. Donnie, I apologize. I, I you know we've been friends for a long time. You know, back when, you know, uh, 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 um, what was it called? The uh, Moesha show or the other one? It was two of them. Okay. And was it Moesha? It might yeah. have been. No, it wasn't. What was the one after Monique's show? Uh, the Parkers. Okay. Yes, Donnie. Remember, it was the Parkers and then, you know, old drama. And then you became really famous. And I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Bye, Donnie. Why don't you go ahead? Why don't you just say like you've been talking? Bye, Donnie. Bye. Cause Bye. Right. No, no, because you're, I, cause you're Donnie, flirting with the Donnie pastor. Donnie thinks I'm adorable. Don't show people all I'm the people. I'm not showing them. I'm just showing them you. Oh, that's what I'm going to First of all, what I... Hey, Donnie. How you doing? It's Kim Whitley. I was sitting here with your baby girl. Oh, I got a cameo to do. So that's, Hey, y'all, if you go so go Donnie on will camera, get that. cameo, I need to... Pay some bills. Can y'all please go hire me on Cameo? We both are on oh, Cameo, you guys. If you and they chopped it up really fine. This is a great salad. Look at mine. What salad is? What, did they put avocado on my salad? I don't know. Oh, thank you. Uh, we got. Huh? We're eating chicken. for dinner a That's salad. A no this is a salad. I got chicken, a uh, cob. Thank you, Amy. Huh? Um, cop, but it's about intentional yeah. eating, you guys. So hold up your salad. Look how little mine is. I'm gonna lose more. 
not you get these more <laughs> weight, not eat less, less, less lettuce than me. We are salad eating into a competition. Kim lost, this is how Kim has lost 30 pounds. Um, WW, this is how it lost 31 pounds. Yep. We have to be intentional about what we eat. Yeah, I'm gonna put some blueberries on it. What would we really like to eat? A rack of ribs or yep. a big prime rib steak? But instead, I'm gonna pretend these blueberries are um, some macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna pretend it's chicken. It's just chicken. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, you know what? Wait, wait. I'd like to say something on a serious note, everyone, because mm -hmm. we are gonna sign off. Um, just pray for the families in Miami. Oh, absolutely. That that building yes. uh, collapsed. Yes. It has been with me all day. I've been watching yes. the news, and, and just you know, things happen every day. But count your blessings uh, that uh, you could. I could sit here with Sherry. Um, very easily could have been us um, or our family. So if anybody is listening and you know somebody that was down there in that building, you know, our heart and prayers really go out to you and your family and uh, friends. So um, just, uh, I don't even know when you do in this kind of situation, but just send good energy. Absolutely. Can I give you your flowers for something before we sign off? That makes me really emotional. Oh God, let me eat while you talk. Yeah, you can eat. So anyway, I was on the doing the movie. So I haven't missed two podcasts because I was filming a TV show and a movie. And I was doing the movie and I was sick. And I took two zinc tablets on an empty stomach, which I didn't know that you couldn't oh, do. Yeah. I, Bad. I was so sick and I was throwing up. And when you're doing a movie or a TV show, you can't call in sick because they set shot, they rent out locations. It like when you hear of celebrity shutting down productions, you, it's costing hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars. So I knew I couldn't call in sick, but I was so nauseous. And I was like, Lord, I got to work 13 hours today. I got to do all of these monologues where I'm emotional and I'm crying and I'm sick. And I was throwing up in the bathroom and everybody was like, are you going to be able to do this scene? And so I called Kim and I said, pray for me because I got to work. I can't do this. And I feel horrible. I was laying down because they gave me time to lay down. And Kim called me back. Well, you and know I it was bad if she said for me to pray for her. And I, I said, said oh, she really said. pray for me. <laughs> and Kim called me back. And, it's, and it's, first of all, I was lonely because I've been gone three weeks and I'm lonely. And so I'm at this hotel by myself. And Kim called me. And as soon as I saw her face on FaceTime, I started crying. She did. I just like burst into tears. And then, you know, Kim be rocking back and forth like this. <laughs> I told, I told so her. she was rocking and she was like, listen, listen. And she made me laugh so hard. And she, can I tell you, she laughed me to hell. She made me laugh. And I just was like, all I need is Kim talking to me and talking me through it. And she was like, tell him to get you some crackers. Tell him to get you some ginger ale. She said, Sherry, you're going to be able to use this. You're going to be able to do it. And I was like, okay, okay. And then I would start crying again. And she was like, no, your makeup. Don't do it. And so she just kept making me laugh. And then I felt better. Because and I was she made so me mad that you took zinc on an empty stomach. And she was so mad that I took the zinc on an empty stomach. I was furious. And so I felt so much better when I talked to Kim. And I was so emotional. And then I said, Kim, <laughs> now this is what killed me. Kim rocking. I said, Kim, because she was on that damn paleo, horrible elliptical bike oh, she bought the from the Goodwill. The Melaton. And I said, the Melaton. The Melaton. <laughs> so I said, Kim, I just need you to pray with me. And Kim goes, OK, you start. And I'm like, Kim, you got to pray for me. Like, I'm sick. I can't start. And she was like, uh, oh, whoo, uh. And that's what she was doing. And to say I a simple not, prayer. No, no, I was calling on the spirits. Uh, ooh, I was. I was getting, uh, I was getting the angels ooh, ready. Oh, I was. Uh, <laughs> that's what she was doing. Sherry, Sherry, I got to see it. Kim. Well, and I'm sitting there, and Kim's like, uh, well, uh, uh, Heavenly Father, uh, ooh. I'm not laughing, and I'm laughing, because Kim literally had the best heart, and she's trying to say this prayer, and she's an amazing prayer when she gets into it, and she starts praying, and it's a beautiful, I had to warm up, beautiful prayer, and she was like, in your mighty name we pray, amen. Can I tell you? I was immediately like not sick. I laid down for another 10 minutes. I ate them uh, Ritz crackers and their ginger ale. And I said, I'm back bitches. Got on that set. 
13 hours. I didn't get off until close to two in the morning. Mm -hmm. Did my monologue, did that daggone monologue where I cried almost 19 times. Did all of the stuff. And the whole time I kept thinking, I am fine. Kim laughed and prayed me back to health. And I want to tell you, thank you for that. Oh. I'm just like, because I didn't know if I could make it. It wasn't me. That was the power of the Lord. That was a pain. It took you long enough to get to him. But, but boy, when he came through, you called well, on him. Well, maybe he don't answer me real quick. So I, I was giving him a chance to get he, to the door. He, okay? he read, he read, the, he, he read the ticket. I don't know, Chris, but the yeah. angels was like, somebody at the door, Lord, they just breathing mm -hmm. hard. Yeah, God I'm thinking. Like, I, that's how it went. I think. I think oh, no. maybe he was like, "Oh wait, this isn't for Kim. This is for her friend." Okay, we got this. All right, exactly. Yeah. But I do believe Chris. The angels like Lord. Somebody at the door to just keep breathing. <laughs> and God is like, well, "What is they saying? We don't know. No, she just keep because, breathing." Because in the pandemic, the Lord got a lot of people to answer first. I figured your little stomach can wait for a few more minutes. <laughs> so okay, we got people over here with COVID and the variants and all this. So I had to. Mm, yes, Lord. I had to get so he knew I was knocking. You know you knock, and then don't nobody answer. I had to get it because I was like, because <laughs> I, I told him, I was like, Jesus. Oh. I said, come on, because she gonna pass out on the set and cost thousands and millions of dollars. Okay, because I was ready too. But I want to thank you so much for loving me and laughing me to health well, and you. praying me to health. I you should, would have done it for me. I would have, and I couldn't think of nobody else to call. And I guess the Holy Spirit was like, call Kim. Because it was people better who could have prayed. Like, I, I didn't call Donnie. I right. didn't call nobody. I, it was like, it said, in my spirit, it was like, like I want him. you to really give me my flowers. I did it without a wig on. You sure did. Oh. She didn't have no wig on. She had no wig on. No. Just like I set it off, didn't I? <laughs> Just like set it off. When I call you, you know what to do. You better be calling me back. Yes, you I did. Wanted... So it was. I, that was absolutely beautiful. I want to remind people, go get your t-shirts and your merch at byjack.com slash two funny mamas. Kim, is that, uh, is that hat still within arm's reach? What hat? The hat two with the bird. Hat. With the bird. Oh, with the bird. No, I think uh, Amy put that bird hat up. Amy took it. Read some of the comments yeah, before we leave. Somebody wants to see it? Yeah, I need I need Sister Kim and Sister Sherry to uh, to pray us out here at the end. But yeah, let's get some comments. Uh, MD, love it. Thank you so much for the laugh. Carpe diems and laughing me to health. Put it on a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> we got all kinds of people wanting. Uh, Marcel wants tickets because he got the shot. <laughs> wants to be rewarded. Uh, uh, let's see. We got a few others here. Uh, Oh, okay, update from Lunell. Uh, she's from the Lunell show. Her opener came out a few minutes ago. So we're doing good okay. with Lunell. Absolutely. Uh, Monica says, look at God. Y'all eating again, says Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> we always eat. Uh, <laughs> Michael wants to see Kim on Daily Pop so bad. Uh, and, uh, Michael, I'll be back. Yes, I will, child. Yes, there she I is. will. That's okay. Sister Kim. Look at my hat on. What do you want me to do? Hey, Sister Sherry, come on. Support. Thank you, little, thank you, little girl. Thank you, child. Michael Justin <laughs> says this the best part of Thursdays and now Fridays. Look at this. You are charming people. You're about to go into a strip club and make some ladies' nights. No, because it don't make no sense. Ain't nobody. We young. Single women ain't got nothing to do on a Saturday night. Ain't nobody else doing a live but the lonely girls. We gotta tell y'all on the other live. We're gonna have to tell you guys on the other live why we're going to a strip club. We can't tell you now because we gotta get off. Right. Miss, but we Miss, gotta go to a strip club. Yeah, we'll we'll find out more about that. And Miss Annie wants to know where your wigs where your your wigs from, Kim. You oh, wig. That's my real hair. I was kidding. Mm -hmm. that's right. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I, uh, Angie, Angela, uh, uh, Angie's hair on Instagram. She makes my, if y'all go to Angie's, uh, is it Angie's hairstyle? I think yes. it's, it's hairstyles by Angie. An isn't it? Angela Parentes, huh? Here, let's find it so oh, she can get a. Her yeah. name is uh, Angie, Angie Hairstyles. That's what was on the phone. She's on the way over. Angie Hairstyles? Angie yeah, Parentes. Angie it's Hairstyles with an S. See, Angie mm -hmm. Hairstyles. Who always going to the strip club? No, Angie's coming over here to bring me my other wig. Oh, I thought she's she going to the strip club. You know the one I wear on 20s? You know right. that show on BT? I got to film an episode this week, so I got to go back looking like uh, Lena's mama. Because mm. you play Lena Way's mother. 
or the character who plays them. Yes, JoJo. Right. Sis- sisters, we've got Harold saying, uh, when Harold's at the club, when I'm at the club, I use the quote, old bitches ain't snitches. Ooh, ooh, Lord Jesus. Mm, mm, look. Oh, that's so nice. I praise the Lord. We have a t-shirt that says, old bitches ain't snitches. Because if you mess around with Kim or I, we I don't gotta, talk. I gotta take off the hat till this time. This is- yeah, if you mess around with an older woman, they don't run their mouth. We don't do this. Like even when we talk about people we know, we don't mention names. Except Donnie McClurkin and Fred Hammond. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I don't have Fred's number. Has anybody seen Joshua? Is he okay? Well, let me see if I got Fred's number. I used to have. I got Fred's, Fred's number. I used um, to have Fred's number. Go, I have Fred's new number. Oh, I, I don't know. Okay, okay, so what did you want us to pray you out? Because I have got to go. You know them two boys, is, them young men are waiting on me. Okay. <laughs> They've I'm been sorry. waiting, but we're just leaving them outside, Minye and the other guy. Are I they still know. outside? Minye, I'm coming. I got somebody named Sherry, Fred. I, I don't know if it's Fred. Okay, what'd we have you, to go. What'd, what'd you say, Kim? Uh, you ready? Mm-hmm. Never mind. Yes, uh, sister, sister Sherry, sister Kim, can you pray yes. us out? Can you send us to the mountain? Take us to the where top. We ain't doing nothing where we sacrilegious. Take us no, to the no, mountain. No, 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 no. Well, I just wanted to say this has been a lovely service. Yes, it has. I want to thank all the saints for joining us today. The saints and the ants. The saints and the ants. Anybody that wants to come down and have Jesus as your Lord and Savior, get all your stuff because everybody in the church ain't saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So bring all your stuff to the thing. Thank you. We want to thank everyone for joining us. It has been a quite a lovely service. It's been a uh, lovely service. Lovely. I want to thank all the, ho- the we girls. We are going to the West get- Coast Mall next Saturday, so please put in your deposit. Yes. So we can go to the West Coast Mall. We're going to all of the outlet stores. So please, if you don't have your deposit in by the second week yes. past tomorrow, you cannot get on the bus, Miss Mays. No, Mavis. you cannot. And we Tell will them. be having lunch at the Olive Garden. At the Olive Garden. That is the highlight. Yes. Of our trip yes, to the yes. East Coast, West Coast Mall. That's right. Going to the Olive Garden. So please put in your deposit. Absolutely. And to the children's ministry, we want to thank you for those lovely songs. And would someone please come and get 8559, <laughs> Joshua Whitley. That's he is right. still in Sunday school, still acting in- a plum yes. fool. And last time he was left, the mama went to St. Lucius. <laughs> so- <laughs> <Chuck> or Lucius. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. Look at him! Look at him! We are still looking at myself. All right, y'all. St. Lucius is a dude you dated. Yeah, St. Lucius, that's the dude you dated. That wasn't the place that we went. And for all of you who are not vaccinated, we are having someone here that will be vaccinated. Very aunts. Very aunts. Good night, everybody. Bye, (laughs) y'all. Thursdays at 2 o'clock by jack.com slash 2 funny mamas. Four t-shirts and apparel. And again, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Join us back on Top of the Mountain Thursday at 2 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Pacific. Thanks, everybody. I love Cindy Kim because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like to do. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas. What's with the drink?